cheer the emotes in the chat. <laughs> I'm going to cry because they're so cute. Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are we doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let me quick say hello to all of you. First of all, you I thank you so, so much for the seven months and for the tier two resub. Oh my gosh. I appreciate that so, so much. I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. I heard that Tokyo Avengers ended. Okay, no spoilers. No spoilers at all. But what did everyone think of the ending if you read it i didn't read it i'm i haven't read any of the manga but i'm curious to know everyone's thoughts um Fief, hello thank you for grabbing first sarah thanks for grabbing second oh my gosh also eric welcome in kizeki marion hello maze edson hano amari drummy welcome in Fief, thank you for grabbing your seat geeky hello derek uh brew hello sammy Space Cowboy, hi. April, hello, it's good to see you. Cheezer, Michelle, Pajamas, Jose, Miss Kalini, Josh, hi. Problematic, hello. Zafir, welcome in. Thank y'all for grabbing your seats. Uh, Kenny, hello. Alder, welcome in. Cosmic John, oh, hi. Uh, Hokovin, hello, welcome in. Govern Pants, hi, thank you for grabbing your seat. Kenny, thank you for grabbing your seat. Agent, welcome in. 12 a.m. You can't sleep because you're scared of the thunder. It's raining really hard. Thunder sounds oh, really loud and keeps coming. Do you know when the storm is going to end? Honestly, I'm kind of a fan <laughs> of thunderstorms, but not when they're like, not when the thunder is like crackling and like right above my head. So I, I understand that. Uh, hi, Jack Benny. Lamb, hello. Sheriff, hi. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Uh, it's a dessert ending. That's the best description. Okay. Okay. Had a few tears in your eyes, not gonna lie. I completely understand that. Like, when my favorite stories end, or like, when a story I really like ends... First of all, I like, I never want to watch the ending or read the ending. I always put it off. <laughs> so... And second of all, I, I do get emotional about it. Uh, Julia, hi. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Jose, you thought it was a good ending. Hi, Frankie boy, welcome in. Benny, hi. Puke bucket, welcome in. Nilla, hi. Uh, Foolish, welcome in. Snowing like mad here, government pants. It was snowing here yesterday. It's not snowing anymore, but like the snow was actually sticking here in Wisconsin for the first time this year. And to be honest, I thought it was kind of pretty. And usually, usually I'm not a fan of like cold weather and stuff, but it was, it was very pretty. Uh, Sam, you put off watching last season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, for the same reason, literally, I've said this before on stream for like the past two years, I still have not finished Shit's Creek. <laughs> because I just don't want to watch the ending. <laughs> Like, I know I'm gonna be sad that it's over. I heard the ending was really good, but like, Shit's Creek was one of my favorite shows, and I just still haven't finished it. It's fine. <laughs> I have Eldian. Yes, we have Pochita emotes. Hi, Katie. Welcome in. Uh, we have two new Pochita emotes. I actually found them on Twitter this morning. Um, and so, they're follower emotes. There's a Pochita wave. Or you have to use Alana Wave, that's the tag. And then there's a Alana Bite, and it's Pochita biting, I think, <laughs> an arm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mary, what Pochita time? Let me go grab Pochita. Uh, hi, Senpai Nana, and Blue, welcome in. It's good to see you. Thanks for grabbing your seats. One sec. I got him. I got the baby. <laughs> oh no. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. Um, Girl and Pants, you never finish shows. What is one show you have finished? <laughs> I hope you finish at least like three. <laughs> I don't know. I remember when I finished Breaking Bad. Oh my god, Breaking Bad's one of my favorite shows. 
that I've watched. Um, but when I finished it, I was so sad. I thought the the ending was really good. But I was just so sad that it was over. I, I was crying. Also, Jesse, hello. Thanks for grabbing a seat. Hi, Ghoulicious. Welcome in. Jack Benny, hello. Your own fancy never watched the ends of The Office or Parks and Rec. I heard The Office was so, like, the end of it's really, like, bittersweet. I haven't watched through all of The Office either, though. I feel like whenever I did watch The Office, I would either just watch it when my sister had it on, or I would watch, like, the random episodes that were on TV. Um, <clears throat> see time stuff for you after seeing your action too. Emmanuel and Aki getting close over nicotine. Don't even talk to me about them, Halfeldian, because I'm obsessed with both of them. Like both of them separately, both of them together. <laughs> I love them so much. Also, uh, is it Zaythor? Like welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Ivan, hello. Parker, hello. City, welcome in. Thanks for grabbing your seats. Hi, Skulder. What do you think of the new Chainsaw Man episode? Loved it so much. Honestly, like, it just keeps getting better in my opinion. I don't want to say any spoilers for people who haven't seen, um, the episode yet. But it just keeps getting better. And, like, I saw some people say they thought this past episode was boring and i'm like do y'all just not like character development like do you not like spending time with these characters are you just searching for like action <laughs> i don't understand because i thought it was so good i loved it uh and krakatoa hi <gasps> yes that's right i also started bunny girl senpai we gotta talk about that let me catch up with chat first, and then we can talk about Bunny Girl. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, my throat is messed up today. Dana! Hi, Dana, how are you? Hi, Zin. Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. So good. I need to finish Better Call Saul, because I watched the first season? And I think that's it. <clears throat> um... Don't watch a lot of TV. Don't think I ever finished a show now that you think of it. Seinfeld! <laughs> you finished Seinfeld and nothing else. That's so funny. Um, couldn't say Michael Scott, who dropped it off a few months ago. Can see why people like it, though. Yeah, I completely understand that. I think the first season of The Office is, like, pretty rough. Um, but after the first season, I think it's quite enjoyable. Um, also Bruce, hello, Eluna, welcome in. Yeah, he's very cringy. Very cringy. The ending of The Good Place had me in tears? Okay, I watched the first season of The Good Place? And like, I thought it was good, but it wasn't like... Wow, this is a great show and I need to see more. I was just like, okay, <laughs> that was nice to watch. Also, Juju. Hi, Juju. How are you? I love my friends. Hey, Kubeni, after the last episode. But she's the best. Listen, I understand if people were annoyed with her. But I also understand why she was like that. <laughs> so. Uh, I've already told you before you like Chainsaw some anime over Jutsu Kaisen's because of the emotional narratives. Uh, and Mappa are nailing these scenes. Literally, I, every week, Mappa just blows me away with the animation and also the music last week. I loved the music so much. Um, Bruce, you're about to finish your fifth or sixth watch of New Girl. Bruce, I'm obsessed with New Girl. I love New Girl also, um, Gilmore Girls, which I still haven't finished. I was gonna start rewatching Gilmore Girls actually because one, it's like, it's the fall time and winter time. I feel like Gilmore Girls is perfect for this weather. And two, I want to finish the show. I got to like the fourth season, I believe. Um, Katie may start Kaguya today, Katie. Katie, I think you need to. Actually, you do need to because <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um... 
I know Juju New Girl's everything to you. I love it so much. I remember when I was in college, um, my roommates and friends, we would just have New Girl on in the background all the time. Cause it was just like, it was a comfort show, you know? Also, Chris, hello, welcome in. How are you? Mappa spend more budget than Aki getting ready in the morning. <laughs> Any other anime? And we love them for that. We are so thankful <laughs> for that. <laughs> um, Hisaki is still kind of like Michael after season one. Has those moments so they don't outweigh his overall character for you. Yeah, I understand that. I think Michael... He... Like, you get secondhand embarrassment from watching him. And he can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> so I get it. <laughs> Flippy! Flippy, thank you so much for the five month resub! Oh my god. Time slays when you're watching someone slay on stream. Also, I just said time slays. I meant time flies. <laughs> Flippy, thank you for the five months. I really appreciate it. How are you? Also, Mellow, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seats. Mew loves Gilmore Girls. Mew is the only person who's made me want to watch it, Juju. You should. I feel like you would like Gilmore Girls, Juju. I don't know. Gilmore Girls is also another comfort show. Similar to New Girl for me. But when you're watching it, you do have to remember that it was made in like the, the 2000s. Like the early, mid 2000s. So. Um. <clears throat> okay, you're on your third rewatch in season five of Gilmore Girls. I understand. I understand the obsession. Time slays. <laughs> it does. I've now slayed time. Also, Nav's hi. We are talking about Gilmore Girls. Um, Hanno, it was your early pandemic comfort show. Last season, Super Mid. Are you talking about the the new Netflix season that they had that came out very recently? Because I heard that. Um, also, okay, if you watched Gilmore Girls, what team were you on? Who was it? There was Jesse. There was Dean, right? Jesse. Dean. Who was the last one? I swear there were three. Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Thanks for grabbing a seat. Um, and Bees. Hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Logan. That's right. Y'all, I love Jesse. I. I was just Stan. I was. I was Team Rory and he's <laughs> single for a while. So true, Flippy. <laughs> that is too true. Um, remember how watching late TV late at night was a thing as a kid? Yeah, for real. For real. Your Team Logan threw and through really, Katie? Okay. Let me just look up Logan. That one was Logan. Okay, Logan was great, too. Was Dean's name actually Dean? Yes, it was. Yeah. Wasn't his... Okay, this actor... His name was Dean in Supernatural, too, right? No, just kidding. They're not the same actor. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Golden Hero. Welcome in. How are you? Dean is a typical nice guy. Logan was a pretentious rich kid. Just liked Rory for Rory. Exactly. Exactly. I'm obsessed with him. Also, Solar. Hello. Welcome in. Also, Jess. Jess was played by whomst? Milo. I love Milo so much. <laughs> um, hi, Haley. Haley, how are you? I don't know if I said hi to you yet. Do you like the Pachita emotes, Haley? Is this B and Puppy Cat music? No, this is Final Fantasy VII Lo Fi. Here, this is the song. There it is. Also, hi, Itsuki. Welcome in. How are you? 
His brother in Supernatural Oh, was named Dean. Okay. So there was a character in Supernatural named Dean. And hi, Fair with Clouds. Hello. Loreless, hello. Good morning. That 70s show was your favorite, but your baby brain thought it was actually made in the 70s. I've actually never seen that 70s show. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to take place in Wisconsin. And for that reason, I feel like I should watch it. Um, and for the clouds, thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate it. Loreless, thank you for grabbing your seat. Good luck with work today. Oh my gosh. Um... <clears throat> Did you watch the new one that came out a while ago? Naps, are you talking about the the recent Gilmore Girls season? Because I didn't. I need to finish the last couple seasons of Gilmore Girls, actually. I think I stopped watching when Rory was like sometime or like in the middle of college or something. Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Thanks for grabbing your seat. Heard they were making a That's 90s show? With the same actors? Is that true? And Roan, hello. Thank you for the hydrate. Last TV season didn't have the showrunner anymore. Oh, which is why it sucks. Okay. I wonder why the showrunner was like, no, I don't want to be a part of it. Unless they just didn't ask them. Um, That's interesting, though, with the... That's that 90s show. I feel like it's just... It's never gonna have the same vibe as that 70s show did. And I feel like that's very similar with like all shows that have these... <laughs> I don't know what else to call them, like... Reapers? Like, you know, Sex in the City, they had that, um, that new season come out. I forgot what it was called, but it just came out a few years ago and my sister watched it and she said it was not good, but she watched the whole thing because of the drama in it. <laughs> Gonna make us feel hella old? Yes, it probably will. Excited to finish grabbing Midrame? I am very excited. Okay, we actually beat him last stream. So in Persona, we finished the second palace on Monday. And now we're we're patiently waiting for this change of heart. I think there's like 11 days left. So in these 11 days, I'm guessing something else may happen because they kind of like alluded to this new character who also was in the palace with us. Um, but during these 11 days, we could also get our confidant ranks up and everything. Hey Lee, you're already almost done with the palace. <laughs> Accidentally speedrunning, I love it, Haley. I hope you're enjoying it. Love the moments in between palaces. You can just live your normal life. I know, me too. We're gonna go to the theater, y'all. We should probably go pick up more books. I should probably go get a job. There's a lot to do. <laughs> Will we get another new persona soon, Katie? Me too. Me too. Um, Haley, love you. Have no other thoughts. Listen, that's what that's what this game does to you. <laughs> Truly. Hi, Chaotic. Welcome in. Yeah, Persona for days. Okay, speaking of new games, or like games that we're playing right now, y'all, the new Pokemon game is coming out on Friday, and I told myself that I wasn't gonna get it. I was like, no, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to wait a couple weeks and then I'll get the new Pokemon. But everyone has been talking about it lately. And I'm feeling FOMO. And I'm like, I, I think I need to get the new Pokemon game on Friday. I hate it here. <laughs> Um, trying to buy your Jack Frost plushie? You gotta get one. Future Hello, that's literally, that's how they get you. Everyone else is talking about it, and I'm like, I need it. Do you think you're buying Pokemon in the new Sonic game today? Because they both look fun. You should do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> what an unexpected turn of events. Yeah. Yeah, can you... Are we surprised? Then I'm like, hey. I'm actually gonna get the Pokemon. Yeah, Katie, Emmy's convincing you to get Pokemon? It was it was all because of Emmy, and also Kirsty was talking about it too. Need the water ducky? Okay, if you're getting Pokemon, first of all, what one are you gonna get? Are you gonna get Scarlet or Violet? Second of all, which starter are you gonna go with? Because I think I'm gonna go with the grass Pokemon. If I do get if I do get the game on Friday, which I probably will. But I've always been going with a grass Pokemon in my Pokemon games. Uh, Trev. Hi, Trev. Thanks for grabbing a seat. And Bell, welcome in. Um, hi, little kitty block. Not gonna go down in price anytime soon. That's true. Yeah. Honestly, when does Nintendo ever put their games on sale? Like, never. Um... Kiki, you never try Pokemon, want to get into it though? Might try Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, once you're not Persona 3, I think you should. My first Pokemon game was actually Brilliant Diamond, and I played that like a year ago. I had so much fun with Brilliant Diamond, and that was just like a remake of um, Diamond from... How many years ago did that come out? It was so much fun though. Mel, you're going with Violet and Sprigatito, me too. Mary and you're also going Violet and Grass. Uh, Sammy, you're getting Violet and stuck between Sprigatito and Fue Coco. I maybe have an unpopular opinion. I'm not a fan of Fue Coco. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of him. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> also, I just do thanks for the follow. And Em, hello, welcome in. How are you? Ivan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for saying that. I don't know. I don't know why. I just... He's not for me. He's not for me. Banned from my own stream. <laughs> um, wait, can you just freeze it like Foy Coco? Hmm. Okay. I my favorite Sprigatito and then the toupee duck <laughs> and then Fue Coco. Yeah, exactly, Den. I'm a duck lover. I'm a duck lover. Um you like all the stars, they did a, they did a good job this generation. I I think they did good as well. I haven't seen any of the evolutions though. Um but I saw some people who were upset at them. You think Fue Coco's cute beer water bitch through and through? Nice, Michelle. Honestly, I feel like... Oh my gosh, Doctor Don't Fly! Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub! Enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. I really appreciate it. I feel like... A lot of people pick... Based on, like, the type. Because that's what I've been doing. Because with sword and shield with those starters, I feel like the the water and the fire starters were kind of cuter than the grass starters, but I always but I went with grass still. I don't know. I feel like I'm always just gonna go with grass. Also, someone just came into my room. Hi Miso. Do you want to say hi? Ron! Thank you so much for the gifted sub, what the heck? Oh my gosh, and went to Agent Bell. Yo, enjoy your gifted sub. I hope you like your emotes and your sub badge. So, excuse me. He loves just standing here. Look at his dandruff. You need to be brushed. Me so. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you move? He said no. <laughs> what are you looking at? Here. Come sit on my lap. What are you 
doing? Don't come sit down. <gasps> yes, you do. Hello. You are a big baby. Miso. I think Miso should be in Pokemon. Astral. Hi, Astral. And J-Rat, hello. Literally the best starters here. Hello, Miso. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't hold you like that. <laughs> Miso got more cake than me. <laughs> what type would Miso be? As a starter, I feel like he would be a water type. Also, AFL, thank you so much for the four months. Oh my gosh. I actually switched out the Pikachu emote. We now have Pochita emotes. There are two new Fowler emotes. Um, but thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate that. He's purring right now. And KK, hello. Thank you for grabbing your seat. Kitty Cat, welcome in. Uh, Wiley Angel, hello. Thanks for grabbing your seat. Shania, hi Shania. It's so good to see you. Oh my god. You are being so precious. Wow. Okay, let me catch up with chat because I feel like I missed a lot. Um... Evan, you're bad. Looked at some leaks. Stan had them ready. You just gave in. Okay, what did you think? What do you think of the the evolutions if you saw them? Em, you're such a grass starter girly, except for oh Mudkip. Mudkip is water type, right? Which starter did you choose in Arceus again? I chose the the owl, the grass owl. Arceus was so fun. I loved Arceus. I miss it, actually. I was thinking about, um, logging on to play it again. Mellow, I didn't play them. I actually found them on Twitter for, um, like, paid use emotes. Don't want to be a downer, but evolutions are just not great. You like Coco's final the best, though? Why do I kind of want to go look at them now? <laughs> also, hi, Jay. Welcome in. How are you? Arceus is great. Yeah, it was so much fun. I had so much fun playing Arceus. Um, I think, yeah, I finished the game and I think I got the second ending too. The original, uh, to side you wise, one, your, one of your favorite Pokemons. Hizuian to side you is awesome too. Am I saying that right? I feel like I also, I have seen okay i've seen that pokemon name before but i always pronounce it wrong yes the grass owl was rowlet rowlet was so cute um neither did the baby run where she involve evolve any of them that'd be cute that would be me i honestly didn't want to evolve any of my pokemon but then i remember i evolved my Shinx for the first time. That was so fun. It was so cute. You are, hello. Oh my gosh, no problem. Thank you so much for saying hi. Have you played any of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games? I have not. I've seen people playing them uh, on Twitch recently though. Did the new one just come out or are they older? Pronounce like Decidui, Decidui. And the other one is Hiswian, Hiswian. J-Rat, you're kind of torn to Arceus. Like so much of the game when it finished, has still have no desire. Oh, to pick it up again, okay. I think if I were to pick it up again, I'd want to 100% the Pokedex. And also, I really want to get shinies in Arceus. Shiny hunting was so fun in Arceus. That was probably my favorite part. Um, confirmed Christmas time just began, at least in Spain. We have different kind of chocolate called, is it Turon? They're mostly sold during this time. Just bought some today. Let's go. <laughs> I love how uh, all these Christmas decorations are up at the store. And Christmas is still in like a month and a half. Unaval shielding, cause he's baby. 
and Haley. I remember you really like Shielden. Is it Shielden or Shieldon? Shielden? <laughs> Cloud Stripe Defender Tag. <laughs> My favorite starter so far out of all the games? Turtwig. I am obsessed with Turtwig. I actually have a Turtwig plush. It's not in here. It's in my bedroom. But I love him so much. Because he was my first ever Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond. And I named him Greg. Greg was the best. <laughs> yeah, we have we have the Greg command. <laughs> it's a month and a half away. You've already done $800 worth of presents. Okay, you're on your shit because I haven't even thought about shopping for presents lately um there's a website that puts you through tiers of pokemon the option slowly gets smaller till it finds out your favorite one oh, it takes a while but it's so fun Em, i would actually love to do that but also i don't know a lot of pokemon jose thanks for lurking i appreciate it used to work at menards we set up christmas stuff in the store on september 1st that is way too early. I even feel like right now it's too early for Christmas stuff. Um, and we don't know most of them. I <laughs> just went on vibes alone. Okay, that makes sense. Miso, should we play Persona? He's such a big baby. here do you want to say hi again i can't believe i've been live for already like 40 minutes already he's so oh he does not like that set up simultaneously with the halloween stuff jesus christ that reminds me of disney world okay disney world they do those halloween parties and everything the Halloween parties, I'm pretty sure they start on September 1st, maybe even earlier now. Um, and then it ends October 31st, and then like the next day, November 1st, all of the Christmas stuff is already up. I'm like, how are these workers doing this? How do you tear down all of these Halloween decorations and put up Christmas decorations in less than like 12 hours? Um, you're just at your mini mall here, and there is a Santa tree and meet and greet <laughs> set up already. I feel like I feel like we need to wait till December first for all that. That's so early. <laughs> Did you tear it down? Um, you used to work at is it Magianos during college? We had to work from five a.m. to nine p.m. on Christmas Day. That's freaking horrible. I would- I would scream. I would call out. Just kidding. I would be too scared too. But yeah. Why is Miso so sweet? Okay, listen. Miso is sweet on stream, but he is an actual devil off stream. I promise you. When I have my door closed, he will like- he will claw under my door. And I'm like, sir, you can't do this. He has scratch marks on my door because he claws so hard. And I'm worried for when I go to my apartment that he's just going to completely wreck the underside of the doors. So I'm trying to figure out what I can put on the bottom of them to make sure that he doesn't do that. Or I just won't close any of my doors. <laughs> we'll see. Warris, hi, thanks for grabbing a seat. Also, Doodle, hello, welcome in. You see the kind of work for Target, how that stuff prepped. Oh, well in advance, okay. Um, Dana, that's the thing. I'm like, I'm not gonna get my security deposit back if he doesn't, if he does this. And I might even have to pay. Cause what if I have to like replace the whole door? <laughs> Put plastic mats? See, the thing is, like... I don't know if that would help because his paw, like, goes under the door. You know, like, it goes under the door and then he scratches the opposite side of it. So I think I could put, like... You know those things... You can put on the bottom of the doors to make sure there's no draft? 
I might put those on the doors just in case. Um, might have to close doors as much because Miso. Exactly, Dana. Exactly. He usually only does that when he's like in my room when we have Rex out. So. Yes, yes, M. Um, same brain. Plug it up. <laughs> yeah. Put a kitty scratching rug under the door. Embrace the chaos. Strip of sandpaper. Oh, Michelle, that's smart. Or some foam. Needs to be a little different. Once Misa has his own space too? I'm so excited. Also, okay, speaking of like apartment stuff. Guys. I actually got a couch. I made another purchase. I got a couch. I will have something to sit on <laughs> when I move. So that's that's a big thing to share. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so stressed though about moving because I still have to hire movers and stuff. Cause my dad's old. My dad's getting old and we will not be able to carry up all my stuff to my apartment by ourselves. So I'm stressed about that. <laughs> Um, imagine what you would do if Misa went to a room and closed the door. He does that. He actually does that government pants when he wants attention and when he wants food. Because I'll sometimes just be like laying in my bed. This happens during the morning. I'll just like wake up to Miso slamming my door shut. And I'm like, sir, why are you the way that you are? Why? <laughs> also, Sinister Kind, hi, thanks for the follow. Um, Danny hired movers to move uh, things in on your third floor apartment for two hours. Exactly, it was 100% worth it. That's what I'm thinking, Dana. I'm like, I don't want to put myself through the stress and like be afraid of my dad hurting himself. Um, for like 12 hours, you know, there's no elevator. No elevator, and I'm on the second floor. And like, the, there's lots of stairs too, so... Um... <clears throat> I should do that because we're on the 11th floor! Haley, Haley, when you move, I hope you hire movers. It was life-saving, they know what they're doing. Yeah, and they do it fast. I think I should do it. Yeah, second floor isn't too bad, but the thing is... I have a dresser that's extremely heavy and my mom, dad, and I, like, we moved it up probably like seven stairs. Seven stairs and it was really tough. And like, my apartment building it has 20 plus stairs, so. <laughs> yeah, second floor is still rough, yeah. Um. I'm on the second floor, I moved everything, I have too much stuff. Yeah, please do hire people. I, I definitely will. Um, I think if I just had boxes, I would be totally fine with like moving my stuff. But now that I have furniture and stuff that I'll have to move and mattresses, um, <laughs> I'm gonna need some extra help. <laughs> Trick some friends into helping you with the promise of junk food. Listen, all my friends are like in other states. <laughs> so. <laughs> Found my movies through U-Haul. Oh, when you got a truck? Okay. I think I'll, I think I'm going to hire some local movers. Me? <laughs> I win. I don't want to move. <laughs> I'm so stubborn. I don't want to ask for help and you moved, but so happy you did. Yeah, definitely saved you some tears. I moved, um... I mean, I hired some movers when I moved apartments in college, actually, and I wasn't going to do that, but I'm so happy I did. Because um, otherwise, I would have had to, like, strap my mattress to the top of my car and also just bring it up the stairs with some friends, and I just didn't want to do that. I didn't get my mattress yet. It's supposed to come this weekend, though. It's supposed to come on Sunday. Which I'm very excited about. Just you, hello! Thank you so much for the three months! 
Oh my gosh. So happy I'm here, part of the community. Uh, amazing. You and your content inspire me every day. Thank you so much. That's so kind. Enjoy your third month here. I hope you're doing amazing today. Anna asking us to come up from across the country to help move. I will get you filet of fish, okay? If you help me move, I'll provide you with a filet of fish meal from McDonald's with a electrifying sprite. Ethan, hello. Thank you for grabbing a seat. And hi, Sir Squid. Welcome in. How are you? Yeah, Emmy and I are roommates. We're actually moving in together. <laughs> that's an awful proposition. What do you mean, Katie? I think that's one of the best propositions you could get. <laughs> Michelle found us some- That's right! Wait, okay. I'm sorry. I feel like I was just yelling. Let me just go on to betterttv.com and look at their filet of fish emotes. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm adding it. <laughs> it's literally just a picture of the filet of fish. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, all I hear is filet of fish. You need to know the tea. Listen, Ethan. I'm telling people that if they help me move, I will provide them with a filet of fish meal from McDonald's. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Ethan, I hope your morning's going well. Uh, if we went to help Alana, we all end up talking about <laughs> hot anime characters. That's true. That's true. Dana, thank you so much for adding that command. Foff. <laughs> Amazing. Swap the sprite for Dr. Pepper. Okay. Are we are we sprite fans or Dr. Pepper fans? I will say I will say, I do love a Dr. Pepper, but I usually get Sprite more. Give me that fish, Emmy! <laughs> oh my god. Dr. Pepper's Lays, I do love Dr. Pepper. I haven't had it in so long, though. Mark, you like Sprite? Danny, you don't like Dr. Pepper? Why do you not like it? I will say, Dr. Pepper kind of tastes like... Stale root beer. If, root, if stale root beer was like... Carbonated. You know? Um... Dr. Pepper's decent. I like Coke a lot more though. I don't know why, I'm just- I'm not a Coke girly. Not a Coke fan. <laughs> I like Diet Coke better than regular Coke though. Um, oh, it tastes like cherry medicine. You hate anything cherry? God damn. Just ruined Dr. Pepper <laughs> for me with that statement. I'm so sorry. You like Dr. Pepper less than you got some? It did not hit at all. You know what's really annoying when you go to like a fast food place and then they give you your soda or you get your own soda and it tastes like shit and you're like, you can tell that the machine was running out of flavoring. They put something addicting in Diet Coke though. It's it's gotta be the caffeine, right? <laughs> or maybe something else. I mean you're a Coke Zero girly? I've actually never tried Coke Zero. Um and is it civilly welcome in? Thanks for the follow. Amari, don't like carbonated drinks. See, I wish that was me. I love carbonated drinks. Mellow Yellow is your favorite? I have not had Mellow Yellow in so long. You have an addiction to Purple Sunder? The Mountain Dew exclusive to Shell Cast Stations. That is the most random thing that I've ever heard of. I've never heard of Purple Thunder Mountain Dew. You high yes. Yes. Pineapple Fanta, y'all. You gotta try Pineapple Fanta. It's so good. Isn't Diet Coke and Coke Zero the same? It might be. 
One time Chick-fil-A gave me only syrup from the machine. Did you drink it still? <laughs> um, also, Acorn, no problem. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, Stone Weefu, hello. Thanks for the follow. Mountain Dew has so many weird exclusive flavors. They really do. I have not had Mountain Dew a lot. I've probably had it like twice in my life. What's my favorite water? My favorite water? I don't get this water a lot. Fiji water? Is it Fiji water? That's really good. Otherwise, I just like Ice Mountain. Not Tizani, not Aquafina, because that tastes like chemicals to me. Um... Start a problem is carbonated plum mountain dew. And it tastes like Skittles. I kinda wanna try that now. Hi Stone, welcome in. Remember when they did the 10 sodas? Dr. Pepper 10? They noticed men don't drink diet soda, so they tried the 10 thing. What? Men don't drink diet soda? My dad has a diet coke like every day. Um Ev Evian's good? Fuji's great. Oh, it's Fuji. Okay, not Fiji. Geeky! Geeky, I'm the same way. I enjoy tap water a lot. At least my tap water here. And whenever I tell people that, they're like, Ew, you drink tap water? I'm like, yeah, it's kind of delicious. <laughs> Poland Spring? Ooh, or Costco water? I don't think I've ever had Costco water. If you want to know how much people hate Jazani, when hurricanes come to Florida, Jazani's always the last thing left on the shelf at the local stores. Um, probably shouldn't be drinking Orlando tap water, but it's free. Exactly, exactly. I'm not someone who buys, um, bottled water just to drink it. I will always just have tap water. Although when I was at college and I was in my apartments there, I got a filter. Because that tap water was kind of gross. And I didn't really trust it. Um... Fiji unfortunately treats the people of Fiji like garbage, basically. Steals the water. Do they actually get their water from Fiji? Tap water is very chlorinated, so you have to use a... Oh yeah, a filter for taste. Simone! Hi Simone, welcome in. How are you? Um... Also hi youth, welcome in. Hometown had the best water ever, even the tap water was... Yeah, super clean and drinkable. Ours here is really good too. I know we used to have like um a filter here at my house, but we don't anymore because like you can just drink it out of the tap. Core brander is so good. Wait, core brand water is so good. Tastes crisp somehow. I don't think I've ever had core water. And sparkling water? Okay. I wish I was a sparkling water fan. I just I don't like it. I don't like it. I remember I was in um, German class one day and I know in Germany, I'm pretty sure like if you ask for water at a restaurant, they will give you mineral water, which is basically like, I don't know, sparkling water. And so we tried mineral water in German class once and I hated it. It was so bad. I wish I liked it though because like I want to be one of those people who goes to like a cute cafe and gets a bottle of sparkling water <laughs> it's just not me Ashen thank you so much for what the heck the three month sub at tier one oh my gosh I hope you like your emotes and your sub badge I really appreciate that also, Kirsty, Hi, Kirsty, And Houston, welcome in. Yeah, Simone, I think it's an acquired taste, definitely. Um, and Nicole, hello. It does taste like TV static. That's what I think. Do we take the same German class? Did you do that too, little kitty? You gotta taste mineral water. Once came across a dude who would consume can after can of sparkling water. You're just like, are you okay, man? 
<laughs> I can't do it. I've tried LaCroix before. And I I didn't like that. Epic Lib, hello, thank you for grabbing your seat. Do y'all remember when I had my kombucha phase? That was literally like a few months ago. But man, I could go for some more kombucha. Osta, hello, thank you for grabbing a seat. Ethan! Ethan, yes, the Pochita emote! Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Dad likes sparkling water. I'm like, who are you? My sister really likes sparkling water. And she has a, um, what's it called? Like a soda stream. So she can just like make sparkling water anytime. And she'll put lemon in it. I'm like, how do you drink that? Saint hi, thanks for grabbing your seat. Yes, kombucha is great. I love kombucha. <laughs> I was gonna say that was like a week ago. It's been a long time since I had it, Katie. Had hard kombucha the other night, got sloshed from <laughs> two cans. Oh no. Um been drinking mineral water since you were a kid. Other kinds of water just don't taste right to me now. That's so interesting. LaCroix's just a prank to see. Yeah, who can get other people to drink it? Mom only drinks her water with a bit of lemon in it. Don't get it because your brain just thinks it's... Oh yeah, watered down lemonade. Mm -hmm. You hi, I would love to get a Morgana emote. Maybe I should commission some. And maybe some of Ryuji and Joker. And... Kitagawa. Ethan the slay command? I love it. Another day, another slay. Okay, I'm gonna go quick take a break because it's been an hour of chatting. I love chatting with y'all. Um, but I'm gonna go refill my water bottle and warm up my coffee and then we're gonna play some more Persona 5 and y'all, I hope we figure out what happens to Mr. Midrame today. I don't know if it's gonna be like the same thing that happened with Kamoshida, but I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried that something's just gonna take a bad turn, but we'll see. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna be right back. Why is my stream deck not working? <laughs> not this. Okay, check your for reals. For real check. 6%, I think that's kind of rude. Um, Emmy, Emmy with the 96%. There we go. All right. Thank you so much for these follows, Heime. And uh, is it Ta Tadao? Thank you so much. Welcome in. I'll be right back. Sammy. Sammy with the 100% for reeling. That is what we like to see. All right, one sec.
quotes. <laughs> the lip flaps. Also, hi, Blue Coral Lipstick. Thanks for the follow. Never tried boba before. Wait, Drummy, you've never tried boba? That's a crime. What if you go get some right now? <laughs> Nams, I would say... I would just say regular milk tea with tapioca pearls. That's my favorite. <laughs> you haven't either? What's boba? Oh my gosh, y'all need to try bubble tea. Find a, find a bubble tea shop near you. You can get some milk tea with tapioca pearls. It's delicious. Or if you're more into like fruity tea, you could get um, some fruity tea with like the bursting bubbles. It's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna quick run a two minute ad. I'm so sorry, I forgot to run an ad when I went to go take a break, um, but I'll run it as I'm getting the game started. One sec. Okay, there we go. Joey, hello, thank you for grabbing a seat. I think Boba's an acquired taste. You've never had it before, maybe disgusting. I I agree with that with like the tapioca pearls. Because if you've never had tapioca pearls before and you try it for the first time, you might be like, what what is this? What is this texture? But I think it's delicious. Okay, let me open this game. Um and Tana, thank you so much for grabbing a seat. I appreciate it. Don't love tapioca, but you love fruit teas with rainbow jelly. See, I've never had um, fruit tea before with the jellies. I've only had the tapioca. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to have that be right back on there. <laughs> uh, Adam, hi, thank you for grabbing your seat. You either get taro with tapioca, Thai tea with tapioca, or you get mango <gasps> green tea with lychee pearls. Mango green tea sounds delicious. There is a uh, caramel milk tea boba. I don't think I've ever had that. Yeah, Huai, it is strange to drink and then chew. I agree. Haley, I am so jealous. I wish there was a boba shop near me, but I have to drive like 40 minutes away to get boba if I want some. Favorite is a chai tea. Chai tea is delicious. I love going to Starbucks. Okay, if anyone has never tried this, go to Starbucks, order a iced matcha latte and get two pumps of chai in there. It's so delicious. Uh, place where he has a Zang Zang tea, which is like milk tea. Ooh, with brown sugar. It's so sweet. You only get it once in a while. I get you. Yeah. I've gotten some brown sugar milk tea before. And it is very sweet. I'm like, I'm chewing on the sugar right now. <laughs> Hi, Sean. 30 minute drive for you. Yeah, the closest decent spot for milk tea. It's so sad. All right, everyone. Um. Okay. So it's evening on Wednesday. We have 11 days until a change of heart. Can I go downstairs? I can. Hmm? Have I already talked to Sojiro? Can I study? Hmm. I'm kicking these guys out. Come on. I guess they're not leaving. <laughs> um, Saint, you're 180 miles away from the nearest boba shop? That is way too far. Um, matcha with chai. Yes, yeah, Sammy, you should definitely try it. It's so good. And you have, yeah, I'll luckily be closer when I move. Um, really? There's one in the mall and... Oh, one on the corner? Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I guess they don't want me to study. Hey. Could I watch something on TV, maybe? Oh. Yes, the X folders. <laughs> this gives us guts. Let's watch it. <laughs> oh, look at us! You think aliens did this? I've heard it all before. Morgana is so cute. Also, bodies. Petra, hello, welcome they in. Can't be from Earth. It's a story about an investigator who searches for the truth behind eerie supernatural incidents. Hey, hey. The atmosphere of this show is so ominous. I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> Look at Morgana! <laughs> that was intense. I could barely breathe through all that. I bet you've summoned a little more guts by watching this drama. <laughs> nice. Well then. Yeah, the X-Files joke. I love it. Oh! Hi, Igor. You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It's a delightful thing indeed. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. Uh, Sleepy, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Oh my gosh. Enjoy your emotes and your sub badge. Thank you for using your Prime here. M Morgana was literally manspreading. <laughs> However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another yeah. has made their way into the metaverse. Whoopst. This is what I'm most interested in right now. Who could this person be? That is beyond my knowledge. But your rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. Mm. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Okay. Our bond is going deeper. Let's go. All Rank right. four already. All right. Hi, Angie. Angie, thanks for grabbing your seat. How are you? Wish I could get rewarded for watching TV in <laughs> real life. Me too. <gasps> Hi, Kitagawa. I'm calling about Madarame's state. For the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Mm. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. Okay. Is that the change of heart? I don't know. I thought so. I was curious and looked into Kamoshida as well. It's as if he was an entirely different person. Mm -hmm. Will the same be true for Sensei? Well, I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good. Oh, I'll try asking him about the black masked intruder from the palace when the time is right. Try asking him? Goodbye then. This time for sure. Uh, do we want to tell him that we were in his palace though? Yeah. I saw someone famous in Shibuya yesterday. That parliamentarian from when I was a kid. Toronosuke or something. Toronosuke Yoshida, or as most folks know him, no good Tora. He hangs out at train stations giving speeches these days, no one pays him any mind. He used to be a rising star in politics, but run up involved in scandal after scandal. Yeah, I saw him in line for food. It was weird seeing a politician eating at the same place we do. In the end. Well, it's probably his new gimmick, right? Pandering to middle-class people? Mm. <clears throat> Jeez. Oh gosh, are we getting tested again? Sometimes I see people writing exactly the same thing on their essays. Don't think you can get away with copying stuff from some website. I'll know, got it? Stealing someone's ideas is plagiarism. It's as much of a crime as stealing anything else. It's so annoying dealing with copyright crap these days. Oh yeah, did you know this? You know the Arsene Lupin series by Maurice LeBlanc? LeBlanc once had a famous detective character from another series appear in one of the Lupin stories. Now then. Do you know the answer? Which author LeBlanc borrowed from? I'm gonna have to Google this. 
Haley, it's snowing there. It was just snowing here yesterday. Is it like sticking to the ground where you are? Okay. Which author LeBlanc borrowed from? It was Arthur. Arthur Conan Doyle. This is it. Well done. Do you like mystery novels? The answer is the author of Oh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Okay. Also, Lindsay, hello. Googled every single one you didn't know. Joker was getting A. <laughs> Whether he liked her or not, same. I'm like, I need these, I need these knowledge points. <laughs> nice going! Yeah, you cheated on the test too. Music reminds me of Kerning City. In Maple Story, I have not played Maple Story. Nice. Both Lupin and Holmes would go on to appear in a number of other works, but those are hom homages, not plagiarism. Now, Arsene Lupin is synonymous with the idea of a phantom thief. He's recognized all over the world. Yep. Wow, looks like some phantom thieves never go out of style. I love it. Uh, is it Mars? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. Something happened to me the other day. Actually. I almost got kidnapped. <laughs> wait. Next time. Hey, wait. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I was in serious trouble, you know? Some girl had this crazy look in her eyes and she was chasing me around calling me a snowball or something. I wonder if she's been going after other cats and snatching them up like she tried with hey. me. Try catching- try checking the fan site and see if anyone's saying anything about it. No relevant posts? Maybe it's just not a well-known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I suppose that could be the case. Okay, let's go. Let's try asking around in Yongin and see if we can find the culprit. There is a cat snatcher. Okay, we have some messages too. <gasps> Hi. Hi, Doc. <laughs> How are your studies going? Everything is good here. I enhanced the medicine again. I think it'll help you make real progress in your studies and whatnot. Well, what do you say? Do you want to test it out? <gasps> we can become closer to her. Let's go. Alright, we're going to see the doctor. Well then... Oh? So this is a tuck... Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine? I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Oh. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. And? Oh no! So why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I've heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight it is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. We've been going to a big hospital, a university hospital in East Shinjuku. But they all tell us that it's persistent bronchitis. <laughs> a university hospital in East Shinjuku? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. I've heard there's a medicine here that can only be acquired. Oh, there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please at least just examine her. This doctor... Kind of sounds fishy already. Hey. The one at the university. My chest really hurts. Doctor will help. What? <laughs> what? <sighs> Alright, she's doing it. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? No signs of swelling. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Hmm. 
Hello? This is kind of strange. Is Dr... is it Schweitzer there? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You'll need to help me administer the medicine? I'm helping? Also bring the beaker with a red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. <laughs> okay. She already recovered? Hmm. It was a very unique strain of an infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. That'll be 1 million yen for today. A million yen? That's outrageous. You're completely taking advantage of. Alright, I agreed to pay. Don't take credit cards, do you? He's gonna go withdraw cash. What? You're actually gonna pay? By the way, the famous doctor you mentioned earlier was it medical chief of staff Oyamada. Are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. She's so kind. <laughs> You're so kind. Not really, but there is a certain amount of satisfaction in treating his patient without permission. By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Okay, <laughs> so is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. My assistant guinea pig. <laughs> He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Yeah, I had an outburst? When was that? When was my outburst? <laughs> also, awesome. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Hmm. Can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Hmm. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Maybe you won't even be able to make it home. My guts have increased too. We're still bold though. Bye. She's very cool, yeah. I know, from 1 million yen to free. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one, huh? But maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Especially after approving that girl's consultation without my permission. Oh, oh, was that my outburst? Like, making Takemi treat that girl? Oh, punish me more. <laughs> Good God. Well, not if my medicine can cure that. The drug does seem to be more stable compared to the early stages, though. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there, so try not to just die yet, okay? Alright, take care. I'm warm! I'm warm right now! <laughs> Hi, fans uh, are welcome in! You're back. <laughs> so, Jiro... Right now? My bond won't deepen. Let's check this out. <laughs> Let's not do that. Can I study though? Yeah, let's study. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. <laughs> no Ryuji? Oh yeah, maybe we could have checked the um Can I talk? phone with Ryuji. Uh <laughs> you picked the same thing. Joker is like so chill, bet him raising an eyebrow counts as an outburst. That's true. <laughs> He's a very chill dude. Well then. Okay, we need to get our kindness higher. 
So I think we're still at rank one with kindness. Hello. Hi, Yusuke. Ah, it's you. Badarami's ill, but the, ex the exhibit is still going strong. I can't respect him as my sensei anymore, but it's sad to think I don't have a mentor anymore. I'm all ears if you need it. Oh? Talk to you? Now that I think about it, I don't believe I ever had someone I could simply talk to. Well, perhaps I may need a sounding board sometime. I hope you'll humor me then. <laughs> Kiki, thank you for lurking. Hey, there you are. Hi, Ryuji. I need your help with something. Okay. I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Housekeeping service. <laughs> what is this? It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. A maid, dude. A maid who'll do anything for us. He's so excited. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> what are you saying? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Luckily, some guy on my floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. What are you talking? Do you... The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that. Who? Mishima! <laughs> no! Um, can I... He's like... Uh... Yo, Joker and I tried getting some girls last time. Let me try again with this maid housekeeping. Get in on this? <laughs> oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? <laughs> the voice acting. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not into it. It's just for research. Yeah. What yeah. does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as they're advertised? <laughs> We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I guess we have to. <laughs> right? And if it's a scam, then we need to punish them. So true, Mishima. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. <laughs> Every little detail. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Okay. So what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like Operation Maid Watch. Operation Maid Watch. It's for science. Ryuji <laughs> Giga Chat. Hi, Freezy. Also, hello, uh, Opie Awesome. Thanks for grabbing a seat. Uh, Shire Day, welcome in. Sharpless Life. Hawaiian Hercules, hello. Man. Nice. I like that. They're so funny. My cheeks are hurting from smiling. Oh my lord. That flyer. Hey, about that flyer. We're doing it at night, right? I'm usually in Shibuya at that hour at those hours. Let me know when you're going to it. You better not leave me behind, okay? I'll never forgive you if you do. I'll contact you again later tonight. <laughs> we cannot miss this. We can't miss it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Super Muramasa. Spring Fruit Pack. Ooh, okay. So... Wait, who else did I have a message from? I think I'm really making progress with my research. All thanks to you, of course. You think you could drop by and give me some more insight today? I can do this, right? This is a pineapple question. I can do this. And then it'll be evening, so then we can go do that maid thing. You can't, okay, I'm gonna go. We're gonna talk outside today. We can meet up in the courtyard, maybe. See you there. All right. Uh, Adam, thanks for redeeming Gojo Cat. <sighs> One sec. Let me go get him. 
I love this music so much. <laughs> Literally, Freezy, we're so popular. We're getting so many messages. <laughs> Yeah, when I say like this is a pineapple question uh, or this is a pineapple moment, that means I my questions that I'm asking are can actually be answered. Um, Jose, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for the mod love. My stream deck is not working today, so I have to type this in. Shout out to the mods. Sorry, dog. We gotta get going. <laughs> gotta commence Operation Maid Watch. All right, hi, Maruki. I just don't know how scary cats can be, despite their cuteness. Where is this coming from? So... It happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea a cat's claws were so sharp. Talk about a reward. That's true, but I was able to rescue the kitten, so all's well that ends well. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, well, let's move on to talk about a different kind of pain. Okay. We discussed this for a bit last time we talked, actually. The pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical in injuries and illnesses, but when it comes to the pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned. Treating trauma sure is difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on a scratch. Is that possible? Of course it is. Would be my ideal answer, but unfortunately, reality seems to disagree. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> oh, Karusakun, woe is me. My heart is in such pain. It's like I'm being pierced through the chest. <laughs> oh my. I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I, sorry. sorry, that was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. Basically, what I'm getting at is our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. It seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can look directly at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. This is really interesting. Like... I want to know if Maruki will... Obviously don't answer this, but like... I feel like eventually Maruki might find out about what the Phantom Thieves actually do, because we're literally like going into people's... consciousness and like taking stealing their hearts so i don't know i don't know something's i feel like something's gonna happen with him also don knows hi thanks for grabbing a seat we'll even be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts that's a grand plan it's nothing so grandiose but hey if we can get rid of people's pain that'd be for the best right i'm no fan of pain myself <gasps> well, uh... Has he been heartbroken before? On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me. You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I won't be able to pay you. I have so many jobs. I am 
the doctor's assistant, basically. I am Sojiro's assistant. I am gonna be Maruki's assistant. Oh, sounds great. Surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled intern, a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I'm truly grateful for your assistance. Thank you, Kurusukun. Yay, and we do not get paid. No, we're not paid at all. all right. <laughs> it's tough being the main character. <laughs> Alright. They're doing their training. Alright. Max SP has been increased. We got our Be snacks. Careful. Okay. Hi, Steven. Welcome in. Problematic. Hello. My popular arc. Do you have a moment? Today got pretty one-sided. I just ended up rambling again. This keeps happening. I should have asked you this sooner, but is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? I feel completely fine. Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo. <laughs> Rambling to them about a bunch of this philosophical abstracts. I know it's a lot to ask, but it'd be great if we could keep... What? Or the station? Sorry, I think this Taurus needs help. I better go. Hold on. Shinjuku station and you... Oh, you got no money. Bye, Maruki. Joker's uh, literally his therapist back. therapist. You didn't forget, did you? <laughs> you know, about that flyer? We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. I'm over at Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Yeah, we gotta go. KK, I'll be waiting. Don't flick out on me, okay? <laughs> you actually did forget, really? Hey, Mishima. Hi. Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. The Phantom Thieves are true heroes though. I want to help out however I can. <laughs> so, we're executing Operation Maidwatch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. Right. I've been waiting for this. Wait, you already changed out your uniform? I guess it's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Also, Stormtail, thanks for the follow. <laughs> They're gonna have maids come in this empty room. Okay. So we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Well. If it turns out to be sketchy, we can just bail. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. I'm still worried. We'll be fine. You're a real wuss, you know that? To think Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yep. What? Yeah. Okay, give him a call. <laughs> I'm gonna make Mishima do it. Go ahead. Me? <laughs> I'm not good with that kind of stuff. Seriously, please, Karuzu. Fine. Man's voice. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. <laughs> he answered. Why is he so hey. surprised at this? I take it you're interested in our services then? Services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone we want to request? What should we do, Akira? Send anyone. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask for your address? Why am I getting nervous? This is really happening. A maid's services. What should we ever do? <laughs> I 
was thinking we start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? They said 20 minutes, right? I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, it's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Did you wash your hands? What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> Are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? That's a good question. <sighs> huh? What? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. What did they find out who we are? Wait. How should I know? But why would how how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? Ryuji, exactly. But also, I still don't know what type of housekeeping they're talking about. I feel like it's just gonna be regular housekeeping. Also, Tina, hello, Akala, welcome in. Bro <laughs> definitely shat himself. We would have been screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID. Good evening, I'm from the housekeeping service. Huh? What? Already? She's five minutes early. What do we do? <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared! What is this music? I can't do this. My stomach's acting up and my hands are all sweaty. Oh, my bad, man. You handle the rest. Don't let her find out you're a high school student. Is he- does he have to go shit again? I got your back, just from way back, like, from the balcony. What? what I can't do this either. We'll leave it to you. <laughs> they fled to the balcony. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. I'm gonna fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Yow! I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of serving you today. <laughs> nice to meet out you. We're gonna get along so well. Oh, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But there are other services we provide if you desire. You look young, master. Are you perhaps... In high school? What if I say, I'm a dad? <laughs> I'm a dad! <laughs> to two young boys, aka Ryuji, and Mishima. Wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Hmm. I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! <laughs> Quiet! This is so awkward! <laughs> Oh no! Shit, run, Mishima! Mishima? Sakamoto kun! Does Becky know them? And you? Hmm. Did you request me specifically? Are you? Wait, is this the student council president? Wait. Oh no, it's alright. How would you know me? This is our first meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. This is unbelievable. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is Kita. Wait, is her name Kitagawa? It's me, your homeroom teacher. <gasps> Kawakami, Kawakami, not Kitagawa. I keep getting these names mixed up. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. 
I should have taken the job outside of the city. But I needed it to be close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey! Who did you hear about this from? Oh, it was Miss Chono, wasn't it? That harpy. <laughs> the English teacher. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Are you gonna tell Miss Chono about this? What do you mean? It doesn't seem like you're playing dumb. In any case, I'll get in big trouble if you tell on me. Hey, if you're gonna side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. And if you promise to not tell Miss Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything? <laughs> hey. It won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. Well, I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so why don't we both forget this ever happened? I'll treat this as if you had cancelled, so you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay, bye. She had to have recognized him, right? <laughs> like, come on! Oh my god. Also, Lewis, thanks for the follow. Vince, welcome in. Joker with I'm a dad. <laughs> that I'm a dad is so funny. <sighs> I want to go home. Jesus Christ. Man. Oh, thank you for the mod love. Also, Ferris, hello. Thank you for grabbing a seat. <laughs> okay. I'm really upset that my stream deck isn't working. <laughs> the cleanup event is the day after tomorrow. My class has to go in the opposite direction of Ino Kashira Park. I'm kind of looking forward to it. That honor student is actually in my group? Huh? What, is she like your type or something? Either way, too bad. I hear honor students are exempt from the cleaning. What? Totally unfair, am I right? So am I alone on a team of upperclassmen then? This sucks. I just want to ditch now. That really sucks. That's also very unfair that the honor students don't have to go. They must be talking about um that red-haired girl. Also, hi CJ, welcome in. Mark Souls, hello. Thanks for grabbing a seat. Boy, it sucks being stuck inside this bag. I wish I could take Lady On out to do something. Oh yeah. Wasn't there something going on with Kawakami? Wait. There was something going on with Kawakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Which one do we have to look for? Kawakami? What do you have to say? Uh... Kawakami, where are you? You missed the maid time, you did, Astral. It was so freaking funny, though. This game, it makes me laugh so much. Uh, got some tea before you finished ordering your Starbucks tea? Also, thank you for posting that, um, that clip. I'll need to watch that later. Don't know how you can face her after that? I don't know either. I really don't know. Kawakami, not the music room. I feel like it may be on the first floor. Learn something about myself <laughs> from that scene. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who are you? Starry eyed student. False hero. Kamashita tricked people into thinking he was a hero, but he wasn't. Oh, and don't tell anyone my true identity. My true identity? No one can know that I'm a phantom thief? Yeah, okay. Okay, starry-eyed student. <laughs> Where is she? Those are the bathrooms. That's an imposter. It really is. Care to elaborate? <laughs> I forgot to apply for the mock exams. Are you gonna take any? Only nerds worry about those. I'm not taking any tests that I don't have to. So true. Oh, there's a school store. Um. Where the hell do I have to go? Does anyone want to tell me where I have to go? This is a pineapple thing. It's the third floor? Okay. Yeah, faculty office. There's a library. Broadcast room. Hmm? Maybe it's in the other building? This is the classroom building. Oh, it's the second floor? <gasps> Here we go. Oh. I've been saying. Get home safely, Kuruzukun. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, Girl, so... why are you in every teacher's business? There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet, you leave work earlier than anyone, and you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Mm. How Akami's being grilled by Chono. She said she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Chono's suspicions. The school's closing soon, Mr. Kurusu. Head on home before it gets late. Or do you need something for Miss Kawakami? I have a question for her. What? What? You have another question? Another question? That's right! Kuruzukun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours, hmm. What passion, you are the ideal teacher. Passionate teacher is exactly what we need at this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. I thought... I thought that wasn't gonna work. I thought she was being sarcastic when she was saying that. Man. I know, literally, who even asked you, Jono? That did clear up her suspicions, so thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, though, okay? Hey! Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet you at your room. Well... Why? <laughs> Why? Why are we getting teachers' numbers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. This is so strange. Also, uh, JP, thanks for the follow. Someone call the police. 
<laughs> All right. Um, do we have any messages? No. Wait. Let's go to Shibuya. <laughs> Don't try this at home or in real life. Yeah. So, okay, that's the velvet room. I thought there was something I could do here. They keep saying the same thing. Uh, let's see. Shall we go take the challenge again? I feel like we need to get our, our guts up. Um... That costs more this time! 1,500 yen? <sighs> I favored that phone number! Dear God. To be honest, I never called her again after Thank this. You very much. I just want to see what happens when we do call her. Now then. All right, Karuzu. Now then. Come on. Oh man. And yet again, we failed. Yep. <laughs> Got some more guts though. That's We're good. Uh, Great Mouser, welcome and thanks for the follow. <laughs> you had it memorized! Ah, you're back. <laughs> Hi, Sojiro. Do you think Kawakami gave you her phone number? You gonna call her? I need more guts for this! I have to be staunch! Wow. You got time right now? Uh, no. Next time, then. Um... Okay, wait, what can I do in Shibuya? Let me go back to Shibuya again. Hi, Shin. Welcome in. How are you? Wish my cat hyping up when I fast food. Me too, Dom Dums. Miso just sits there. Oh, wait. Please, consider what I have to say. Can anyone deny this? This runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, the school with a corrupt teacher? We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct ne result of neg negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I'm just passing by. I see. Is that so? Well then, please excuse me. Well, internet-related businesses continue to do well on the market, although they can be risky. Especially nowadays, with security costs being so high. Indeed, cyber-terrorism is growing, as proven by the recent incident. An information leak can be devastating. Companies must guard against them. I'm not interested. Hmm? Hmm. Woman with camera! What? Hmm. Party and college student? Gonna party till sunrise today. If you get too carried away, we're gonna catch flack for being disre disreputable youth again. Did you hear about the dude who got busted for taking a nude selfie while he was working? Don't harsh my buzz, buddy. Forget all that noise and just keep drinking, my dude. There's... Is it you I have to talk to? Do y'all see this blue thing on my screen? Like, on the map right there? Hmm? I feel like that means something, right? I'm not interested. I don't know if I can do that right now. In the end. Hmm? What is this? Huh, he just speaks like he had a purple palm. Treat the light! <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know if I can do that. 
Young rocker. Ah, uh, yeah, my rock and roll soul is starting to show. Your smile. Sha la la la. During the rice season. No, that's no good. Oh, I can't let my country aside show any. Mm. Mm. Um. Do you want a pineapple answer? Mm. Yes. I will take a pineapple answer. Is there a way I can interact with these people? Mm. Blue cards are hangouts with pals who have personas. Wait. The most important thing is you. Okay, I am interested. Hmm. I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. That's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Hmm. Oh. That old man's speech was impressive. That kind of talk might be useful for negotiations in the metaverse. I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. If you could just show him your dedication. Wait. He said he's going to a beef bowl shop, right? I bet he's talking about that one on Central Street. Ooh, we can work part time at the beef bowl shop. I know it's a stretch, but a true phantom thief can't let an opportunity like this slip by. The beef bowl shop on Central Street. I do need a job. I am an assistant to the doctor, to our counselor, to Sojiro, and now I'm gonna have a job at the the beef bowl shop. <laughs> I need money. I need money for all this. Oh. I don't think I can do anything with um that gun in the bag yet. Yeah, and we're a full-time student, and we're working at being a phantom thief. Okay, beef bowl shop. I is it here? Oh, oh wait. Oh! Mishima, why are you here? Hi! Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? Oh. Um. I already read that. Do you remember that horrible person I texted you about? You're gonna change their heart, right? I believe. If anyone can do it, it's the Phantom Thieves. Um... Okay, this is another pineapple question. How do I get, uh, to go to that find the job application thing? Because I remember they mentioned that. It was like a magazine somewhere, but I don't remember where. It's in the underground walkway? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the job magazine best work here we go part-time jobs will cause time to pass but also enable you to earn money and raise stats such as charm and kindness some jobs require you to have high enough stats before you can apply depending on the job you may only work during certain times of the day um I'm guessing it's this. Or no. Echo? Learn to character people? No. Oh, you're able to choose all three. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yes, let's apply. Okay. How many people are you ordering for? Oh, you're calling about the job opening. This is great timing. We're in need of some extra hands. I take just about anyone at this point. You don't mind working at night, do you? Stop by any time and you're free to work. Oh, that was easy. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Check what days you work at your part-time job by opening the menu with Y and selecting calendar. I cannot believe that was that easy. Yeah, you want to work? We've got work. Uh, it's this way. Pretty good, huh? Ah, cool. We can quick travel. Um. So our proficiency will improve. Some days the shop will be more crowded than usual. During busier times, we'll need to remember a lot of orders. Actually, gonna be making beef bowls for people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get to work. <laughs> I love first bite. This is a job market that older people I think we have it. for real, though. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at his outfit. <laughs> oh, you're a new. The, you're the new part timer, right? I've been expecting you. No need to introduce yourself. I actually need you to start working right away. Any questions? Do you have any questions about the job? Are there other employees? Sorry. Not quite. Our budget's been cut despite having despite being short staffed, so you'll have to do everything alone. You're a spry young dude, right? You'll be fine. I'll pay you more to make up for the extra work. Anything else? What does the work entail? Let me explain. Taking customers' orders, prep them, serve them, ring them up, and then clean the store. The meals are already made, so it should be simple. Just make sure you're nice to the customers, okay? Thanks in advance. I'm gonna be doing all of that. Just give it your best shot, I guess. I'll be cheering you on. Oh! Hey, the meat's done. You'll burn it if you let it cook any longer. Nice work. Okay. How much did we get? 3600? That's what? Like $36? Man. I don't blame you for looking exhausted, but you still managed you still managed all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you're pretty proficient. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're getting our proficiency up. This is good. Let's head back. Man. Um. Oh. <sighs> Who could that be at this hour? Ryuji! Mishima's real hyped out about finding our next big target, but something's telling me he's just gonna get himself in trouble. Maybe we should go with him. He said he was going to Harajuku. And I let Ahn know too. Couldn't hurt, right? Our relationship will deepen if we respond right away. Okay. If you immediately respond to a message, your schedule for that day will be filled and you'll be unable to do anything else that day. Be sure to consider an invitation before you commit to it. Yeah, let's go to Harajuku. Let's commit. Nice, we got a new location. The fashion capital, also known for starting many trends in food. Uh, Takenoko street fashion, popular with tourists and trend setting youngsters alike. All right. Cool. Glad IRL doesn't work like this. I can leave <laughs> this just unread forever. <laughs> Same. Also, uh, is it Gustin Gamer? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Oh, and Luna, hello. Thank you for grabbing a seat. Look at them! Is this what Harajuku actually looks like? It's so crowded just like I expected. The perfect place to start an investigation. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all of you to come along. I had a photo shoot nearby, so I figured why not? But why Harajuku, Mishima? Well, Harajuku is this big cultural hub, right? People from all over the world come here. <laughs> So that means there might be all kinds of international villains walking around in broad daylight. I don't know if I get that logic. Uh, for example... Oh, check out that guy! <laughs> He's definitely suspicious! 
<laughs> I mean, who wears black leather long coats at this time of year? He's gotta be shady. All those belts must be supplies so he can tie people up. <laughs> oh man, do you think he's an escaped convict? No, that's just a goth style. <laughs> but my phantom thief senses are tingling. Don't you think he's suspicious, Kurusu? You're tingling? <laughs> Well, I mean, because I'm the Phantom Aficionado website admin, and look, that's not important. You know what I mean. If you think he's that suspicious, then go talk to him. Me? You're the one who's all hyped up about this investigation, right? So hey, go up to the guy and ask. Yo, Captain Trenchcoat. Sorry to bother you, but are you an escaped convict? What? You gotta be kidding. He'd have that belt around my neck before I even finished talking. It's normal to see people dressed in unusual clothes here. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. Like, they've got the confidence to wear whatever they want, you know? Like, nothing's gonna keep them from, express from expressing their own style. Cool or not, they're definitely not letting anyone hold them back. What do you think about unique fashion like this, Akira? I kind of want to try it. Yeah. Really? I guess we can spend the day transforming you. I'm thinking heart-shaped glasses, dye your hair red and blue, and we'll get you a big puffy laminated coat. You just want to make him wear the weirdest stuff you can find. I'll coordinate Akira's wardrobe. Huh. We could go for a bad boy look, or maybe something princely. You've got good potential, so this could be fun. Anyway, no more judging people by their appearance. If they're wearing what they want to wear, that's something to admire. I love that, On. Heck, I'd say it means they're honest. Not like people who seem nice on the outside, but turn out to be terrible. I guess you're right. Lady On is absolutely yeah. right. After all, I look like a cat, but I'm actually a dashing, noble gentleman. Now that I think about it, it's kind of Harajuki to walk around with a cat in a bag. True, he's like a really specialized fashion accessory. Is that a compliment? I guess you're lucky, Akira. You can get popular just by having me around. So, Mishima, I take it you didn't actually have any elites here? Nope. Yeah, figures. Well, as long as we're here, let's have some fun. <sighs> Are we actually gonna get dressed up? Actually, if I've got any hidden talent for fashion, this would be the perfect chance to discover it. All right, we can squeeze in a trip to the pet shop for Morgana. No! I'm not a pet. You know, Kurzu, sometimes it sounds like your cat's really joining in on the conversation. I forgot Mishima can't hear what Morgana's saying. Let's get going, just follow me. I know a place. All right, let's go. I saw you, Miss Fashionista. Ahn really had a point there. She did. I love her. Now then. All right. So we're supposed to meet at you know Kashira Park for school tomorrow. Did you forget Kawakami said there was a community cleanup event? Yusuke, any changes yet? How's Madarame? Nothing at the moment. He's still bedridden. Wait, you think this is too much for the old bastard's heart? There's no need to worry. His life does not appear to be in any danger. I hope we can F up on our first official mission. Can he talk at all? So far, all he has said to me is, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to speak to him, though, since. He is in no state to hold a conversation. For real? If he ends up taking legal action against us, our, lead our leader will be in big trouble. You are under probation, correct? That would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? I don't know. I will contact all of you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart for now. Well, we'll be waiting for your updates, Yusuke. Well then. Ooh, man. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Folding screen set. 
Gods of Wind and Lightning. This one is a popular gift set that captures the essence of Japan. I feel like we should get this one. Hi, Storm. Yeah, we already beat up his paintings. We did. We beat uh, Midrame. And now we're patiently waiting. The change of heart. Well, then. For some reason, I feel like it's going to go wrong. Short time no see. I know we just split up a second ago, but there's this movie I gotta see. If you're not busy, we could go see it in Shibuya right now. The Cake Night Rises. <laughs> the Cake Night. <laughs> it's an action flick. What do you say? You know what? Let's go see it. <laughs> Kyla, hi Kyla, how are you? I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well. Look at us. Look at us just dudes being dudes. Forced to choose cake or pie. Cake or pie? Show you their true taste. <laughs> I am nothing like you. You're a psychopath who bakes for money. Uh oh. Seems very intense. Everything about this movie, it's absolutely ridiculous. But the protagonist's passion to fight for his friend, that really touched me. Rachel! Rachel, thank you for the seven months! Oh my gosh, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. Yeah, no popcorn for anyone! I feel like I was able to learn how to be more compassionate to others. Do we get more kindness? Nice. Oh, actually, damn, I might have teared up a little bit. These revenge movies really make me feel, you know? How about you? Don't these revenge movies make you feel something? They do. Right? Right. This kind of thing is what the Phantom Thieves are doing, too. I'll pay you back for that. All right, let's get going. It was fun kicking it with you today. I love Ryuji. The belief in the Phantom Thieves is going up. Oh. Hey, hey. We're cleaning up today. It's further away than school, right? Hurry up and get dressed so we won't be late. We're going to the park. Gonna do some child labor. Sorry, oh. but I'm in a bit of a hurry. You go to Shujin, right? Slimy middle-aged man. I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You wanna go talk about it somewhere? No! Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... Oh! No! Hey, Come on, there's no need to be shy. What the like what I said... Joker! I'll put no. my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Joker, do something. Stop it! I can't overlook this. What do you want? You're hurting her. Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. I hate this man. Just being friendly. Okay. Okay. Oh. What the? Uh, it's Yasser. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Yeah, walk away. Uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary though. Uh. Joker is always in these situations where he has to like <laughs> save these girls from gross men. Um, but yeah, sir, thank you so much again. I hope you like your emotes and your sub badge. In fact, this isn't even that exaggerated from your life. Exactly, Steven, right? Was that Aaron Yeager's dub actor? I feel like it wasn't. Uh, um... May I ask you something? Yes. So, what made you step in to help me? Because I wanted to, I couldn't look the other way. I see. 
Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? <gasps> Look at the time! They gotta go. I'm so sorry. I haven't even thanked you properly yet. Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school. <gasps> I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. Yeah. Let's let's get to know each other, okay? Pardon me. Jeez. All right, we're headed to the park. It was Bryce Pat Pop and Brock, really? <laughs> All right, Inoka Shira Park, flourishing with natural beauty. This park is a pride of uh, Kichi Joji, a natural respite, a getaway from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. Cute. All right. We can invite people there too. I hope we can ride in the pond with with someone special. Oh. What took you so long? Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? Is that weird? No, that's not <laughs> what I meant. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not. I brought my gym clothes with me. Where are you gonna change on? I was gonna change in uh -oh. the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. It's such a nice day Mishima. up and even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? <laughs> I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, and Maruki's here too. Morning, everyone. Oh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. In his... In his doctor clothes. Okay. Guy Rohai, I know I love Mishima too. You've been to this park, Flippy? Same park that's a... Uh, oh, Studio Ghibli Museum. Okay. Uh, in those clothes? That's oh, exactly no, what I'm saying, I'm Ryuji. In I'm in a different... You are, what? Maruki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. He can cook. <laughs> See you all later. Hmm. I can't he remember can cook? if I brought any like starchy tarot? vegetables. <laughs> More like Dr. Popular. <laughs> Dr. Mishima. <laughs> He's I'm very sure popular. Phantom thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy mm. students and staff. Pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork miso and vegetables soup. will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup. That sounds so good. So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. <laughs> fan club. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned Mishima's areas. like, I'm gonna be in a group with the girl. <laughs> All right, let's just get this over with as fast as possible so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. <laughs> okay. Hey. Look at him go. That guy? Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? They're still talking about me like this. Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Slay on? Whoa, awesome! <laughs> I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. You'd make a wonderful wife? How does that correlate? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sweet, a wallet! <laughs> Anything in it? Uh-oh. Whoa, yeah, shit ton! Whoa. We go in splitsies on this? No! Wait, 
shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? <laughs> Poor Yuji. Man, this park is <laughs> trash. No way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. Mm-hmm, so true, Mishima. If you don't mind, uh, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Uh, sure. Oh, are you a collector? <laughs> uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Really? Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. <laughs> <laughs> she was so funny. Also, Laura, welcome in. Thanks for grabbing a seat. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I found you. <laughs> Before I add taro to the pot, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. <laughs> she was so funny, Lindsay. It kills me. I know, Anne's like, huh? What do I say? Hate the part we can relate to this awkwardness. Oh, no, I feel it. I feel that. <gasps> An amazing chef. I'm the fawning female student. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Oh, uh, he's a salt man. A salty. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> so the cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. <sighs> With the leader of each group, please come and get the soup for their teams. <laughs> So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. <laughs> the salt, baby! Huh. Including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. He's just alone now? I don't know the best now? way to put it, but it sure was a crappy time out there. Damn. Oh! <gasps> She's here! I finally found you! I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. Oh. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Yo, they ditched us. They ditched me. Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's all right with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Yeah? Sure. Great! <laughs> Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. Again? Girl, you've thanked me like three times. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. Mm -hmm. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. Don't worry, it was nothing. Sorry, but I'm not even finished. Oh. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. Oh, the other day? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in the school Oh, school when Kamashita was still Kama Shitter. Mm -hmm. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. The delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamashita had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort mm. of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you too. For real? <laughs> yes, people are discussing all sorts of things about you behind your back. Yeah. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, <laughs> and elephant tusk trafficking? Elephant was it? tusk trafficking? Jesus. I drive without a license, too. <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. I mean, but I did. <laughs> you know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Um. Uh. I'm Karusu, a second year. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. Actually, it's a joke, no unless... So uh -huh. <laughs> I am an underclassman, after all. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... <gasps> Girl, <laughs> what was that? What the hell just happened? <laughs> huh, look. Why does she do it like that? 
seems to be a Shujin Academy pocketbook. The name Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. Got it, just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? She's nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Almost too nice. <laughs> Here, you drop this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. Kasumi. I'm Kasumi Yoshizawa. Kasumi Yoshizawa. Okay. That was impressive. You mean that back there? Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. It's basic gymnastics. It, just a she literally did a, a flip in the air. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? Join our squad. Yes. I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. Do we really want to bring her into this, though? She seems too nice. What's the matter, senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? <laughs> Can you teach me that stuff? Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? Mm-hmm. That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. Hmm. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. Of course. You want my advice? Sure I do. I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? We have a deal. Yes, sir. We're making friends. Wait, that's a little overboard. Oh. But I promise <laughs> I'll glean as much as I can. Ooh. We get to jump forward. Literally, Haley, busiest man ever. I don't know how he's surviving. I feel like she does not deserve to be. I've read in the reports that the Phantom <laughs> Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic. She doesn't deserve than the to be caught persons. up in all this. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Hmm. Well, tell me the truth. Let's go. I, I wonder what her arcana is gonna be. Hast acquired a I know, literally, Sai. I love her. I love her outfit. Become the wings of <laughs> She's like, how can I learn those moves? <laughs> <laughs> Just saw the some parkour videos. The faith persona. The faith persona. Blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Kasumi Yoshizawa, Faith. All right. Interesting. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? Yes, girl, text huh? me. It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. Weird. <laughs> it's back. Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. Gotcha, that, girly. We will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. You're welcome for the three free well, labor. The seems to be finished. <laughs> We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Yes. Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. Okay, I trained with Kasumi. I can't believe Joker is so popular. Yo. Oh yeah, we got another package. Hey. Electroproof Choker, windproof Choker. Oh. Sweet. Mm. You're all dusty. Hurry up and get changed. All right, six okay. more days. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. There's no point in getting impatient now. Hmm. Um, drinking game, take a shot every time. She says sorry, I know. She says sorry so much. 
Uh, alright. Batting cages? This could improve my proficiency. Let's go here. I don't know if I've ever been to the the batting cages before. Are they here? I see. So they're doing this on the rooftop. I haven't seen you here before. In case you didn't know, the services here change depending on the time of day. Okay. So, using the batting cages will pause will cause time to pass, but you can get prizes based off your performance. Your proficiency will also improve. You will face a total of five pitches. Hitting all five pitches will get you the slugger prize. If you hit a home run, you'll get the home run prize. Activities available change according to the time of day. At night, there are no prizes. Oh, but you can swing as much as you want. If you hit three home runs, you will receive a coupon for a free daytime session. Hmm. Wanna give it a try? Let's try it out. Haven't gone to the batting cage or the bathhouse in this game. Once in your playthrough, really? How many hours do you have? Good luck. Okay, adjust the angle of your bat with the L joystick to match the ball's expected trajectory. When the ball overlaps with its icon, press A to swing the bat. Try to hit target for a home run. What? Man. Listen, I'm trying. No, no. <sighs> no. Hey, hey. There we go. Okay, we hit one. Nice. Oh, no. Y'all, don't hey, look. Hey. Don't look. Okay, we hit two. Oh. I want that nice. home run. Oh. Come on, okay. Max. Hello, welcome in. Nice. <sighs> I feel yeah. like I'll need it to get like spot on to get a home run. Okay. Oh, I missed. Hey, hey. Yes. Yo, I want to do this in real life. Even though I was never really a baseball fan. Nice. Come on. <laughs> uh, Emperor, nice. thank you so much for the follow. Dude. Yes. Oh my gosh! Hey, hey! I don't nice. know how anyone's supposed to get a home run here. Yes! Batting kitchens are fun, IRL. I've always wanted to go to, um, like okay. one of those golf things, too. Okay, okay, I'm hitting it more mm -hmm. centered this time. Oh! Yeah, I've done mini golf before, but you know what? What's that place called? Top okay. golf. I've wanted to try top golf before. I've never gone. <laughs> okay. Frick. Man. Ah! Oh, let's go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, oh, and then I miss. <laughs> that was so cool. Ooh, so it seems like you have to hit yes. it like lower. Okay. Like lower than the ball is listed, and then you could get a home run. Oh. Come on. <laughs> that was so close. Yes. Damn it. Oh. Hmm. 
<laughs> Come on! Okay. Don't think you have the hand-eye coordination? Oh my gosh. I remember we played um, oh. softball in gym class in high school. That was not fun. We would also play yes. kickball. Kickball was pretty fun. Oh. My favorite though was badminton. I loved badminton so much. Nice. We are hitting all of them now, that's good. Come on, I want to get oh. like one more home run. <sighs> Come on. Nice. Yes. Oof. Baseball, oh. you mean soccer, baseball? Is that is that basically it? Actually, <laughs> yeah, that is like soccer, baseball. Batman's underrated. Okay. It really is. I once, um, <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> I once dislocated my shoulder though. Oops, I missed. When we were playing badminton. <sighs> Actually, no, it might've been pickleball. What? That was so close. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh Lord. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to get another home nice. run. I'm going to go to 50 hits. Hey, hey. No, <sighs> oh, it's not keep missing. Hey, hey. <sighs> okay. Okay. Come on. Just like doing yes. any physical activity in general, you enjoy batting. Yes, exactly. I don't know what it is about it. Okay. <laughs> Please. Okay. Akira, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> One more. Oh, okay, we're stopping. Oh. We're gonna stop this. Wanna give it a try? That's enough nice for going. now. Did we get more proficiency though? We did. That's good. We're still bumbling. Um wanna head back? Yeah, let's head home. Dislocated. We <laughs> I was dedicated. <laughs> Honestly, my shoulders are just not strong. And that's why. Morning. <gasps> Hi, Ryuji. By the way, the exhibit's till the end of this week, huh? We did what we could, and now we wait for the results. Want to head out? <laughs> True. It's important to take a breather after some hard work. I feel like my body will be weaker if I play around too much. Also, uh, Dimension and Sweetie Louie, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome oh, in. Oh yes. I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Alright, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Do they? <laughs> Even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal sediment settlements through force. For some reason, they end up getting romanticized. Now then, Kurusukun. What is the answer? Do you know which peg-legged... Parrot to toting. Historical figures' appearance became visual shorthand for pirates. I feel like it has to be Captain Kid. Wait, can I? Oh. <laughs> okay. John Silver. This is it. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the answer is Long John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. The story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction. In terms of non-fictional pirates, well, Captain William Kidd made quite a name for himself, I'd say. So Captain Kidd was actually real. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he hid all his treasure in one place. Akira is so smart. 
um, and Bryce, well, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Though research seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much, still several novels, several novels were, were written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there is an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is set to sleep. Yep. Hmm. Regardless of its actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. Also, Max, yeah, we did defeat Madarame. We're currently waiting for, um... Uh... His change of heart. I think there's maybe like four or five days left? So we're getting there. Well then. Pollen's bad today. A lot of people are suffering from pollen allergies. It could be affecting, affecting mementos too. I don't really want to go there. Um. Aoyame Ichome. Let's go to Shibuya. Do you realize Long John Silva's person? Thought it was a fast food place? Me too, Katie. Don't worry. That was the exact same way. Okay, there's someone in the underground mall. <gasps> Arn is here! We'll just have to wait for now. What should we do? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least ask. No, but then... Lady An seems depressed. No, um... Never mind, it's nothing. I need to say something. I might be able to invite An out if my kindness were considerate. Oh, Morgana, come on! <laughs> so I can't ask her out? <sighs> Well, let's go to the theater. We should improve my kindness. Yeah, just be nicer. <laughs> Ali Denno, thank you so much for using your prime here. Welcome in. I feel like your emotes and your sub badge. I really appreciate that. Let's improve my kindness again. We're gonna go see the cake night rises because we're obsessed with the movie, I guess. We just need to get good in life. Yes. Do you wanna know why? Um, also, Ori, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good day at work. Do you wanna play a baseball game? Like, an actual baseball game? Or like a video game baseball game? I am nothing like you. You're a psychopath who bakes for money. Oh shit, there we go. That's the first time I ever used that fast forward feature. Ah, you're back. Um, what do you have to say? Shall we make some coffee? Yes. Ooh. Mom, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my god. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, they went to Julia, KB, Death Rider, Harold, Riz, Sarcastic, uh, Misha, uh, Phil Lemon, Shania, Alex, and Rubber Dub. Thank you so much. Yo, if you got a gifted sub, enjoy. That's so yes. kind. <laughs> All right. I appreciate that. All right. We got more charm. <laughs> yes, Julia, enjoy. Mm. Hawaiian Kona coffee. Let me explain. A Kona blend only needs to contain 10% of Kona beans. A 100% Kona coffee rose is quite expensive. Good Kona coffee is known to have a rich flavor, bright acidity, and a complex aroma. <sighs> nice. 
Well then. We are all being charmed by Joker, so true. Picked up so much coffee trivia. From this game, no literally Harky. I'm learning so much from this game. It's actually wild. Am I retaining that information? Maybe not. <laughs> but Shania, enjoy your gifted sub. Oh. Sorry. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Employee posts nude chef selfie. Wild Duck Burger claims to have fired the employee in question. Those close to the man voiced their surprise, vouching for a seriousness at work. It should be unsafe, crime rising. The police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hotspots of Tokyo. Tickets for the Madarame exhibit are available until June 5th. The exhibit goes until June 5th. That's the end of this week. We'll show him what a change of heart means. Mm. Well then. Who's messaging me? Track is back. Looks like they're gonna bring back the track team. The coach is gonna be Yamauchi too. That guy is basically Kamashita Jr. I swear he's scheming something. Well, I guess I can look into that myself. Anyway, what are your thoughts on training today? Yes. Yes, let's go practice. Max, thanks for lurking. Um, hmm. Also, I am excited for Mob today. Oh my gosh. Last week's episode was a lot though. It was a lot. Got any ideas? Um... Stay here, protein lovers? Train at my place? I feel like Ryuji's never came over. You seriously think we get any training done there? I bet we just end up eating ice cream and playing video games all day long. That's just kind of what happens, you know? Well, that's okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Not Kaoka? Takaishi? The hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakaoka here. It's none of your business. Shock, what is that? Shock, thank you for the 500 bits. How are you? <laughs> What is that? Uh, so what? You gonna ask him questions with your fists? And anyways, ain't a three-on-one kind of cowardly? The only coward here is Nakaoka. All the shit Kamoshida put us through is his fault. He was telling that bastard secrets about us the whole time. What? That's a load of bull. You guys should trust him. That's right, you've been training together for freaking forever. <laughs> Plus, ain't the track team coming back? You don't gotta fight. Shut up. I'm telling you, this piece of shit sh shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Sakamoto? Ooh, he's gotta be a snitch. Whoa! Hold up. Out of the way, Sakamoto. We'll beat the shit out of you too if we need to. <sighs> if you think it's gonna make you feel better, go for it. You're gonna wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels real bad looking back on shitty stuff you've done. Huh? Look, even if Nakaoka was working with Kamashita, ain't it fine now? The bastard's gone, so you guys can just put the scrap behind you. There's no reason to fight, yeah? We can't keep people around who are gonna try and undermine our team. I didn't do anything. I wasn't working with Kamashita. No matter how much you hit me, my answer is gonna stay the same. Oh yeah, we got proof. Yamauchi told us all about it. Huh? Yamauchi? Am I saying his name right, by the way? Also, thank you for this hype train. Oh my god. You channel points? Gotcha. Five seconds slow mo. Give me my badge back or give me my bits back. Shock. <laughs> no one has VIP anymore. Uh, it'll be real bad if anyone else showed up. Shit like you isn't welcome on our new track team. You better remember that. You okay? What the hell was all that? Just stay out of this, Sakamoto. It has nothing to do with you. But... When you hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to endure his bullshit. You might have felt relieved, but it only made life harder for us! Are you kidding? Because of you, we lost the one place we could vent our frustrations. The one place we could really belong. 
Tensions got pretty high after that, and things have just been kind of rough from then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're right about me? Would you still think it's fine if I was the one who told Kamoshida about your parents? <sighs> yeah. If you told him, you told him. I'm over all that stuff with my parents anyways. Besides, hey. I've realized something, Nakaoka. I might have messed up with Kamoshida back then, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. I'm just gonna focus on being myself now. On being free. What are you talking about? Free, huh? Why is everyone so mean at this school? Besides, hey. like, the five friends that we've made. You know what? I get you, Ryuji. Right? He's the one who wasn't making any sense. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you, man! Ryuji! Can you explain that? Uh, I don't know how else to explain. I just feel free. Huh? <laughs> what? We stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> Look at them laughing together. <laughs> I love them. Okay, we have Harris in recovery. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. All nice. Right. That's sweet. Man, that was some funny shit. So much for training though, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, of course. Of course we gotta go grab some ramen. <laughs> um... Oh! VIPs for this channel are- What <laughs> that means? That's my sister! Also, May, hi, thanks for grabbing a seat. And Vino, hello, thank you for the hydrate. Historians will say that they were roommates. All that mess with the track team, guess I was right about my gut feeling. And Nakaoka can get weirdly stubborn sometimes. He'll keep his mouth shut whether or not someone's punching him. Sounds like you two were close. Not really, but we put in a lot of work together back then. And I hate seeing groups driven apart from shit like this. And that bastard's Yamauchi's name came up again, I swear. Something about that dude is so shady. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do a full investigation. I'll hit you up later if I find anything. Okay. Shaw could be my sister too, that's so true. <laughs> ah, you're back. I will settle for mod. I'm not giving a shock mod. I assume you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. It's not your fault, don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarame has had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if he don't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamoshida? Not exactly, although we didn't know if he was, like, bedridden. Yeah, he confined himself in his home. Either way, there's been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not they, their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Madarame himself what the deal is. There's nothing we can really do. Let's just try waiting a little longer. Hey! Oh, we can go to the laundromat? Now listen up. Okay. The guy blames Ryuji for hitting Kamoshitter, yet he's the one who told Kamoshitter. I know about Ryuji's parents. Like, what? Whatever. Uh. Laundromat. Hmm? Laundromat? I get so lost here. Okay, this is a bathhouse, yes? This is a laundromat, okay. Oh! We can reveal its true potential. Oh. 
Let's do the heavy armor. We do one more sooty boots. This is so interesting. I feel like they thought of so many like small details with this game. Succubus pajamas, angel's cape, duke's coat, and old cat collar. Let's head back. That's cool. Also, I have a question. I'm guessing people speed run this game. I feel like that would take so long. I want to ask you something. Why Hello? did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? Girlie is still on my ass about this. I'm not interested in talking to you. You're not interested in this topic? You've dodged any immediate threats. Aren't you interested at all in what facilitated the change? No. Well, that thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Get away from me. <laughs> Over 13 hours without DLC? Okay. Thieves Den updated. Huh? <gasps> Wait, is it raining? No, it says it's sunny outside. Um. Let's go here. Speedrun leaderboard right now is 14 hours! Jesus Christ. I can't believe people actually do that. I know, you take a whole day off just to speedrun and you have to learn how to speedrun, right? Okay, so we have to figure things out about the cats. The cats that are being snatched. Oh, I love that detail. You can actually see the pollen in the air. That lady looks really happy now. Is it because she got a bunch of cats? I suppose. I personally think it's a bit too much. With that many, it gets so loud and I can't sleep at night. Hey! Can I help you? You mentioned cats? You're concerned about that household as well? She suddenly brought home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was alright. It's terribly noisy at night and they shed everywhere. I'm worried that it's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats in. That is worrying. I agree. I even told the landlord about the situation at Aino son's home. It looks like nothing's changed. I know who? Huh? Her name? I'm not sure. I only say hello to her every now and then, so I don't know her that well. Hmm. Hmm. Why does this lady <laughs> have a bunch of cats? Also, Claire, hello. Cat is the best. Her name is River. I love that name so much. Okay. This Aino lady suddenly adopted a lot of cats. There's concern about the noise at night and shedding. The cats might be acting that way because they're stressed. Okay. Maybe we... Maybe we... We might be able to find some other clues. Let's get investigating around Yongin. Hmm. Owner! Thank you for the 14 months! Yeah, can we get some Gojo dumpers, please? <laughs> to stay sane. And just as hello, good afternoon, how are you? <laughs> Owner, thank you so much for the 14 months. It's great to see you. Hmm. Aw? Sad old man. Have you been to Shibuya lately? Yeah, I went to see Madarami's exhibit. They were talking about it on Good Morning Japan. There have been some scary accidents happening recently, so try to be careful. Oh, you're right. The one back in April was terrible. I hope that sort of thing won't happen again. Old man, is the cat not here today either? Maybe that woman really did take him. Hey! About that cat... Ah, yes. There's this woman who nabs all the cats around here and calls them Snowball. So she's calling all of the cats Snowball. 
A few people I know have been victims. The same thing probably happened to the cat here. That's terrible. She's one creepy lady to boot. Calls all the cats a snowball, even if they're not white. <laughs> but I did get her name. It's Ryoko Aino. I asked her when I went to the police, so there's no mistake. The police just treat cats like objects. Those little guys are family to me. I wish there was something I could do about this mess. You gotta be careful too, since you're toting a cat around. <sighs> not only are other cats suffering, but she's also hurting people too. Our next palace. <laughs> We're gonna change her heart. <laughs> Only because she's stealing cats. The Aino household was the one that suddenly got a lot of cats, right? That's gotta be our target. We should discuss this with everyone at the hideout. Actually, wait. <laughs> wait. Not actually. Um... Wait, can I go... in here? Hey girl! Allergies are so annoying. Okay, our bond won't deepen yet. It's will decline. This old man is my family now too! All right, so we can go talk at the hideout. This always confuses me. Station Square, I think I have to go the other way. Access way, here we go. There's pollen in the air? Um, hold meeting? We'll lose our torch just waiting around here. This is the perfect time to go to Mementos. I don't want to go to the Mementos! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna exit. <laughs> um, let's see. Should I just go to sleep? I'm like, I really want to figure out what happened to to this freaking madrame, midrame. Oh. Ah, you're back. Hello. You got time right now? Our bond won't deepen. Next time then. Maybe I could go to my work if they're open today. I know the mementos, we don't know her. <laughs> we do not know her. It looks like we could talk to this guy. I don't think I can do this yet. Yeah. Come on. It's so good. It is always so good. Oh yeah, there's an ad stand. Sleeper blade. Huh. This song is so good. I'm sorry I'm leaving so soon. <laughs> I want to get my guts up more. Let's go take this challenge. Okay. Um. Yes. We're taking it. Do you ever eat at Dino Nuggets? Or do you ever eat Dino Nuggets? I haven't in a very long time, but I do love me some some animal shaped nuggets. Thank you very much. <laughs> now then. Go, 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 now, go. Oh, <laughs> man. That always makes me laugh. Yep. Hmm. 
super bold. Still bold. <laughs> Anyone else a sucker for the mac and cheese shaped like stuff? Like the the mac and cheese that's shaped like different hey! things. Cause I love that shit. Yes, let's read. Um, we gotta read the art of charm. Hmm? The X, Y, Zs of applying pickup techniques keep looking smooth, even if you drop the ball. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like Spongebob or Star Wars, oh. yes. Also, Nina, hello. Happy Wednesday. Got to work. Oh my gosh, I hope you have a good work day. How have you been enjoying it, by the way? Mm. Nice. Getting more charm. Um, I haven't had fun-shaped mac and cheese in so long. Oh, I've been looking into Yamauchi lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently he's been hanging out at the Monjiaki shop a lot. I heard he gets real drunk there and breaks to his co-workers. So, perfect opportunity, right? If we can get close, we might get some intel out of him. Good luck. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to say that. Right, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I ain't gonna be able to get anywhere near him. But he wouldn't care about you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you wanted. Probably. So, I'll let you know when I, when I figure out when he's going drinking. Till then, we're gonna put on hold, put a hold on our training. Well, I'll be counting on you. Yep. Ryuji. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Takemi! Let's go. Uh, it's been good. Did a lot of- Ooh, laser cutting and engraving this week? That sounds so fun. <sighs> the warmer it gets, the stranger people act like that perverted high school teacher. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and a rise in weirdos? <laughs> you came because you saw my messages, right? Yes. My bond won't deepen? You know what? Let's still hang out with her. Maybe I should invite her to Inokashira Park? Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, we're going on a trip with her. Why did this pause? What the hell? There we go. <laughs> this place should work. The conditions here are perfect for gathering data outside the clinic. It should also help me see reactions to more external variables, such as a change in environment. This is so pretty. Look at this. What's on today's menu? <laughs> well, aren't I lucky, lucky to have such a cooperative test subject? You really are helpful. Now then, strip and go for a swim in that lake? <laughs> Only kidding! What is she? <laughs> We're gonna do a control test. I want to record some data without you having taken any medicine. I need some comparison data, and today I'm gonna gather every last bit of it. The more test data I have, the more helpful it'll be. It is important so I don't slack off. Then... Okay, now go for a run. About five kilometers should do. Not kidding this time. She's making me run! I'm grateful. Well done, thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> I, listen, Maze, I would have done anything. I would have done anything for uh, her. You're back. You got time right now? Uh, no. Next time, then. Um. Now, what do you want to do? Let's study. Make sure you close up. Five kilometers isn't that Can much. How long is five kilometers? To get me these character design is so cool. I agree, Lindsay. <laughs> I love her outfit. Three miles? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's well, so long. <laughs> I can barely run one mile. Okay, two more days. Right, or is it one started. more? Maruki. It's been getting humid lately, huh? 
But it's times like this where you've just gotta push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that's the plan anyway. Then I got police officers what I was up to. What? Do I really look that suspicious? Ah, yes. Speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses? The halo effect. This is it. Right. Nice. Um, like your fit today, thank you. Anyone else have the running mile? <laughs> Trouble from high school? Yes. Yes, Lindsay. Actually, it's from middle school. Because I don't think we had to run the mile in high school. It was only the middle school. Uh, you get distracted by superficial qualities and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Oh, hmm. Nice going! You had to run it multiple times in high school. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't have to run it in high school. I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. But Lady On looks perfect and she is perfect. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, they made you do it every single year? You hate running so you run as fast as possible to get it over with? Oh, it's raining outside. Jeez, they really want me to go to the mementos. I know Morgana is so in love. What's up? Okay, so Reiji has to do some stuff. Let's go to Shibuya. Um. Now y'all were talking about cross country. I had to run a mile three times in a row. I could never, never do cross country. Wait. Okay, I think On is still there. Could we go to the theater? What? Oh, we've already seen that. We're already here. Where's the burger shop? Oh, I really just want to so raise my guts. I want to find out about that gun. Um. <clears throat> oh, used to be a distance runner. Okay, okay. I used to be in track in middle school. That was the worst. Some reason I ran the 400 and the 800 when I sucked at them, I was forced to do it. <laughs> um... It was horrific. <laughs> uh, you like distance because you don't have to run as fast, you just have to keep a pace. I guess, like, it's all about stamina. Thank you very much! <laughs> now then. Oh, you were a tennis player? I used to play tennis too, but only for a few months. And then I quit. I wish I didn't quit because I actually really enjoyed it. Now then. Oh man. Yep. <laughs> All right. Want to head back? Poor Burger Boy. <laughs> Lindsay, you were also pressured to do track and field. Uh, what did you back. have to do? Ooh. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarami must have had his change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's come charging us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? 
try asking Yusuke. He's still staying with Madarami, right? Oh, that's right, where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. With who? Rio! Oh my gosh, Rio! Thank you for the 18 months! Jesus Christ! How are you doing? It is great to see you. It's been so long. Man. Okay, so likely the media. I haven't heard anything in this conversation about pressing charges. Guess we just gotta wait then. Let us meet in Shibuya tomorrow. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. I'm sure. Got time right now? I'm sure. Next time then. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. <laughs> I'm so nervous for what's actually gonna happen. <laughs> um, Lindsay, you did the 800, 1600. Not the 1600. Also, the discus throwing. I did discus too. I literally have no upper body strength either. Why did they put me in discus? Well then. It's because I sucked at running. So they were like, go do discus. And then I sucked at that too. <laughs> Is Memento's a new blitz ball? <laughs> oh shit. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I, I have committed Not the music. Of becoming of an artist. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. I, I tainted this, this country's art world, and, and even Sayori. How could I, I possibly apologize to? To everyone Look at for, his portrait. For what I've done. <laughs> He's crying way too much. And that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a They're moment ago. They're laughing at him. <laughs> After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used Ooh. for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. <laughs> after the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his a age. police hospital. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound mm. and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old <laughs> geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. Okay, see, I don't know why the Phantom Thieves are like... ...being so public about this, because if it were me, I would want to keep this on the down low. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil mm. hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. It is not impossible. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. For real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Is that Light Yakami? No, this is this is that guy, wasn't it? That Sai was talking to. Phantom what thieves is again. that? Light Yagami. <laughs> oh wow. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. Okay, okay. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. So that's two out of two that worked. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. This'll be fun or I don't know. See, I would say I don't know because they're 
They're like... They're getting a lot of attention on themselves. Man, you're so indifferent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Then again, Ricky. doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? Mm. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Okay. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. I guess. I guess they want it public. Oh. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? No. Ah, yes! How can we help sure. you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? We wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Maybe we're just meeting up with each other before we go get tea. We were just discussing where exactly. we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? That'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. Okay. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? I hope Yusuke isn't staying with um Madarame still. Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? <gasps> That's right. Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. <gasps> In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. Good. I can't draw on such a place anymore. He should come stay with us, okay? Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge oh. thanks to my fine art scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that Look good? at him standing there. Yeah, Mad Mercer did so well, Em. Uh, also, Kura, thanks for the follow. And thank you for the poster check. Hi, Multimu, welcome in. Scholar, that's what I'm thinking. They need a new hideout. Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. Ryuji? You moron! Don't say that. <laughs> then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. Mm-hmm. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Hi, Asad. Welcome in. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? Yeah. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right. Guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. Girl, get out of here! Why are you such a stalker? <laughs> oh god. This always scares me. Literally, get out. <laughs> so after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Yeah. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Sai, you don't understand. It's the truth. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Conspirators? Now then, 
Tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. I'm not telling. So you won't sell out your accomplice? No. I need to protect him. <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times <laughs> longer. Oops. Now your next target was this <gasps> man. Whoops. Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro? He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. Oh, so he was... Trying, er, trying to be... The police were trying to find him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> the suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Mm. Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. Two and three years? Wow. I know we can't ban Sai. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. What does SIU mean? Security and information something? Or no? Uh, also, Louis, thanks for the follow. This is an actual question, an actual... Oh, special investigator unit. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Hmm. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Girl! And I understand that why these are you, incidents why are you have so mad at her? Anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. This is the guy. This is the creep. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. They're these phantom thieves to worry about. He's but part of the government. Exposed... <sighs> I don't know if we knew that. <sighs> Dolly! <laughs> Not Pitbull. Pitbull would never. Oh. Pitbull would never do that. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I'm truly thankful to you for making me come to my senses. You're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. <laughs> he didn't have to go all through that. He didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? For what? You know. Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts, a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot they expired today. You want to go right now? <sighs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go. The place is in Kichijoji. Oh, let's go. Isn't that where the, um, 
the guy goes to get drunk at? I don't remember. Um, Mr. Theobot making a special appearance. All right, let's go. Man, we just keep unlocking new places. All right, popular with men and women of all ages. The streets are lined with shops. Unique styles on display may intimidate newcomers, but all are welcome. All right. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter path. Okay. Man, we gotta spend money. I know, it's a date. It is a date. Also, girl fans, thank you for the mod love. She... I'm getting sick of her. There we go. I wish my Steam Deck was working. This area's a royal edition. Oh, it wasn't in the original at all? Cute! Whoa. So this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Seems interesting. Right? It's got your attention now, huh? An's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the Darts Lounge is one block up from the main All street. Right. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. <laughs> Look at us hanging out with Ryuji! Stop being so creepy. Makoto, thank you. <laughs> I know Ryuji's smile is so cute. Makoto gives any vibes, do you think? Wait, who's this? Gentle face monk. Good day, what brings you here? Oh, surprised to see a monk? Fret not, I am merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You're most welcome to visit any time. Hey! Cool, so we could go to a temple. What's this? A realtor! I see. <laughs> Morgana's like, let me go rent a one bedroom. Um... <gasps> we can get some udon? Oh! Oh my gosh, I am getting hungry. This game makes me so hungry. Wow! Oh man. Mm. Oh, this is still the udon shop, okay. Asian uh. general store. Vending machines. Oh, fried food shop. There's a special meat cutlet for people in line. Oh, let's try uh, stopping by at nighttime. Um, <clears throat> Makoto's so pretty though. Yes, Alice from Twilight. I totally see that. Oh, the furniture Whoa. store. Sorry. Oh my gosh, can I actually like decorate <laughs> my room though? <gasps> Hello? Uh, um My, what a coincidence. Uh, um That's all you're gonna say? Hmm. Hmm. Stocky man. With so many people getting tricked into scams, it feels good to see the bad guys cry while they apologize. Which reminds me, I heard some of my customers talking about the Phantom Thieves. Have you heard of them? My kids were talking about them too. Can't quite figure out if it's some kind of prank or form of blackmail or what. Yeah, I don't even know if they're real or not, but wouldn't it be great if they really existed? Hmm. Oh. This is the road. Hey. The name of that shop matches what's on the free tickets. Penguin Sniper? It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Why'd you give it one of those doofy birds- No. Why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? <laughs> it's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. What do you have to say? Mm -hmm. 
That Madurami is such a fraud. His appearance on Good Morning at Japan was full of lies. I can't believe we actually paid to go see his exhibit. You and your stupid recommendations. Now, why are you being so mean? Why is it my fault? You were singing his praises not too long ago. I had to cancel golf plans with my boss. All the kids at school are pretending to be Madurami now. <laughs> They're mocking him? <laughs> Don't copy that criminal. Your father is such a bad influence. Jeez, y'all need to work some things out, I think. Okay. Whoa. Penguin Sniper. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. You're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Let's go. Alright, Bull! That's <laughs> a new high score! Effects. Bull? The center of the target's called the Bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the Bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? See, That's I did not different. know this until I played Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I, like, had no idea what I was doing with the darts game. Hi, John. Welcome in. How are you? Everyone just says bullseye, though. I know. That's what I was thinking, Ivan. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. Zero you can't exactly. even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? <laughs> so you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. Maybe we can improve our proficiency here? <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Morgana. Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. Ooh. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Of course. Of course. Sounds fun. Hell yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Look at them! Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening! <laughs> oh. Here goes! Don't underestimate an ex-athlete! He's so sweet. Hell yeah! Triple 20! Whoa! He hit such a tiny spot! Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. <laughs> the high fives. We're almost down Hi, to Patriots zero points. Fan, we'll come really in. focus for this last round. Come on, Joker. Woo zero points right on the top. Let's go. Oh, ain't we badass? <laughs> That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man. This is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. They are literally the best. What? Baton pass rank 2? Damage up and HP recover? I feel I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuchi. So both of our baton passes gotta rank up. Ah, so we get more HP after a baton pass. That's awesome. And then rank three will recover SP. Verify party members' baton pass rank on the stats screen. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm They're... guessing both of you got something out of this game. They just keep introducing new things to Even us. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. True. <gasps> Sorry. Thank you so much for the four months. And thanks for lurking. I really appreciate that. Welcome in. That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes. Let's invite everybody next time. We can invite everyone. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here. <sighs> this is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a stroke? <laughs> Who would protest having good luck? <laughs> They're Ooh, so funny. That? 
Ooh, billards? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we mm. look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time mm. you'll have to pay up. Okay. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. That was so fun, Ryuji. I love him. Hey. Uh, if I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Chibio, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. It's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Akira. Worst comes to worst, I've got you back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. <laughs> I know, we need another date with him ASAP. Oh, we got Mishima here. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichijoji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you say you don't hit him, he lies and says you did. And then he sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like a conflict artist. And the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning. But when he pretends to be senile, he just gets away with everything. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us names. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichi Joji's Harmony Alley a lot. Mm. Request received. An elderly's meaning of life. Okay, do you have anything hey. to say? No. Um, let's see. Can I watch something? I think I need more DVDs actually. Ryuji or Yusuke? Wow. That's so hard to choose. I feel like... I like them both for different reasons. Oh. Okay, we're gonna watch this. <laughs> They're all dead. How could... Uh, Who could have done this? Haven't started on trail series yet. Heard many it good things though. So. Wait, what is a trail series? Got into their brains. We need to find those samples. Actually, I think Freezy fast. mentioned the trail series before. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I cannot get over the way Morgana sits. <laughs> He's just hanging out. Okay. Well then. Okay, going to sleep. Oh, look at the belief in the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Do you see the news? Oh, the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it was written seemed pretty legit. Damn, we went from 6%. To 16, almost 17 percent. It's so gross and humid. Now for today's trade news. Today's headlines are: Hot spots of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper is open for business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No. It's a trendy lounge for darts and billards. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh. Uh, there sure are lots of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. There are so many things to do. Morning! <gasps> hey, bestie. The response to Madurai Mae's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly- <laughs> Oh no. What's wrong? For Ari, real? hello, welcome in. <laughs> oh no, my uniform, man. That's what's that's what's wrong. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. 
I knew people were looking at me. Oh, god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. I can't believe they have to go to school throughout the summer, too. <laughs> Holy shit, you're so pale. Short sleeves are just so not for you. Shut up, jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen? Same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind this. The news this morning said the group called the Phantoms are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Made it. Oh, look at his shirt! <laughs> no more rules? Sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. That's definitely my personal best by a lot. He's so cute. Oh. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. As annoying as I think she is, I feel she should not be the one to do this. <sighs> like you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Oh shit. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? Mm. I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. I bet. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. And did you do that? That is the most pressing issue no. we have to tackle at the moment. Not at all. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand. Not unnecessary questions. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Orion, hello. Welcome in. Thanks for having a seat. Did you see Madarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Big guys, really? Those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like, let's go. How's it going? Have you found our next big target? <laughs> Suave male student. <laughs> I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm going to find one that quick. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? What? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. We're going oh, on a trip. I just want to ditch it. <laughs> You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourself? The voice acting is so good. Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. <laughs> then let's all choose the TV station. Mm. I heard we're going to get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Is he supposed to say something there? Oh, well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. How is Ryuji allowed to wear that? That's a good question. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. He's a all rebel. Right, I'm gonna head back. No more rules. Maybe I should get a haircut. <laughs> that guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. I know Max Middleman is the best. The best. Who is texting me? Feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Monorami is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his people, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. Yusuke! 
I want to cry for him. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. <laughs> I want to cry for him. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. We need to wait and see. Understood. Oh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, are you listening? You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Am I gonna be able to dodge it this time? <laughs> no. Pay attention! I need more proficiency. Oh, uh, senpai, Kurusu. What a pleasant surprise! This outfit it's is really so cute. really down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. Do you have an umbrella, or should we share? So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. <laughs> what a considerate kitty! Of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. I love how Morgana's like... Yeah, I am a cat now. Uh, also, hi, Sushiri. Thanks for the follow. And just in case you've forgotten oh, again... just kidding. I'm a human, not a cat. Well, see you around. Where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Care to walk together? Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? Mm-hmm. That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Prelims? Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Mm. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. You want a piece of this? <laughs> Maze, right? It's kind of creepy. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. Mm. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> the giggle. Oh, we're already at the station. She looks sad about it. Oh my gosh. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey. Isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort and her around. And a boyfriend? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. Miss Special Snowflake, huh? I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Mm. It's so hard being so popular. <laughs> Excuse me, my father's calling. <laughs> the game is really shipping these two. They really are, and I love it. Her Hello, father? Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since mm. it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? You must... He must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. I feel like we're gonna meet her dad sometime. 
Yeah, and her phone's acting up. I'm suspicious. Seems pretty rough. Yeah, it seems like Yoshizawa has a heart too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? I'm getting another message. I found some great intel. This time it's bullying by a Kose student they call a queen. She's been ordering a male- She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like the M in S and M. <laughs> Does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. <laughs> anyway, here are the details. The girl acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has an S in her initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully, you don't end up in M. Hey! <laughs> what did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target, so let's find some time to consult the others at the hideout. Sadism is just a sign of love. <laughs> okay. Orion, thank you so much for the prime sub. I really appreciate it. I should write something. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Um. Aoyama Ichome. Let's go to the cafe. Definitely close. Yes. Um, but no, Orion, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Oh. And your sub badge. Thank you for using your prime here too. I think this is gonna be where we end it. Oh, one sec. You haven't heard anything from the student council president, have you? This honor student must be busy kissing ass somewhere. <laughs> you don't have to be so harsh. What is this about a student council president? The one in our school has kind of been keeping tabs on us. I think she's suspicious of us. Are you sure it's not merely a result of Ryuji's general misconduct? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Though to be honest, the three of you most certainly stand out. Do try to be careful. I cannot be there to look over you at school, you know. The duty rests on your broad shoulders, Akira. Broad shoulders? Got it. I'll make sure to keep an eye on Ryuji too. Why do you gotta single me out? The others kinda overshadow you sometimes, but don't forget. You're famous too. Just make sure you're careful, okay? <laughs> hey, inmate! Caroline! Listen well. Then. Okay! Okay. Let's do it. I'm gonna save here. Next time we play, which is tomorrow, I will go to, um, I'll go see Igor and Caroline. They actually called me. I think that might have been the first time that they called me. Oh my lord. But yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out today. Oh, you're finally done with First Palace completely. Um,. And we saw who our next person is, who are gonna go uh, into their palace. I don't know how we're gonna meet them or anything. But let's see. I'm gonna find someone to raid, so if you wanna stick around with a raid, I'd really appreciate it. Cover pants, thank you! Oh my god, the maid watch operation? Yes, we saw the maid watch operation. <laughs> that was too much. It was absolutely hilarious. All right, everyone. Let me see who we can go send some love on over to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe try? How long has Tri been streaming? You know what? Let's go say hi to Try. He is currently playing some Pokemon. Always good vibes over there. 
always love hanging out. If you want to copy the rape message paste and try to share me over there, I really appreciate it. Uh, is it Elsas? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna be live again tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually gonna be a shorter stream because I have to pick up my sister from the airport in the afternoon. Um, but I will still be live and we'll be playing some more Persona. Oh, is that loud? And yeah, all right, let me say bye to all of you and let me make sure I copy this raid message. Mellow, thank you so much for hanging out. Dana, Freezy, Jose, Derek, Maze, uh, Orion, thank you. Amari, Julia, Jack, Geeky, Patriots fan, uh, Zenny Gabe, thank you. Hanno, Freezy, Pajamas, Adam, You High, Government Pants. Uh, let's see. Anyone who's lurking, thank you. Y'all, thank you all so much for the gift subs today, for the resubs, for the new sub, for the bits. Um, Eluna, thank you so much for hanging out. Ivan, thank you. J-Rat. Y'all, shout out to my mods for being amazing, as always, for taking care of chat, backseating, all the spoilers. Okay, everyone. I will see you over at Tries. Go send your love over to them. Uh, say hi, drop a follow if you want, and I will see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye! Bye-bye! bye bye, bye, bye. What is going on?